Living the luxury life changes everything. We upgraded houses into flying cities, traveled to the most expensive places on Earth, and even got adopted by Iron Man. But to live the luxury life, you need money, lots of it. So we did some jobs. Some were good, some were bad, but all of them were really fun and helped us reach our dreams, which never last forever. So we did the biggest heist yet. Did we escape? Find out yourself, because I put the entire luxury adventure into a movie, which even made a YouTube laugh. So sit back, relax, grab your popcorn and your soda, and enjoy. I thought it was a good idea to go driving in my new car, but I crashed into a taco van and the police showed up. They arrested me, took Chop away, and now I'm in jail. And I can't leave this place until 10 of you guys subscribe to my channel. And I really hope you do, because some of these guys seem mighty scary. Grab the arms. You got the legs. Oh boy, this doesn't look good. Please, guys, subscribe. I don't want Franklin to go like this. Wait, hang on. You guys are subscribing. Oh, yes, we can bail. I'm bailing now. Now, now. Boy, am I glad to be out of the prison. Those guys were gonna get me, and I don't even know what I did to them. Well, now I've made it out of the prison. Let's see where Chop is. He was taken away from me, and I want to get him back. He's over there. Perfect. I'm glad this still works. Once I get Chop, we can get on with our day. Well, at least no one's guarding the gate. I'm just gonna walk straight up the driveway, get Chop, and get out of here. And it sounds like there's a crazy party going on from in that house. He doesn't belong somewhere like this. He belongs in my kennel with Franklin. But man, this is a crazy place. Every one of these cars is worth at least two million dollars. And there's people dancing inside. What kind of house is this? Right, I'm gonna go and get Chop, and we're getting him out of here. Hey, ladies, sorry to break up the party. Oh my days, this is crazy. The music in here is insane. Damn, oh, man, I've lost him to the party. Concentrate, Franklin. Chop's here, and we gotta get him. Now, the tracker said he was upstairs, so let's take a look upstairs and go and get Chop. Hey, Chop, it's me, Franklin. I know you're up here somewhere. This house is huge. Let's see. I think... Hang on a second. He's in that room. Oh, no. I think I've been found. Hey, guys, this is a big misunderstanding. I'm just here to take my dog back. Your dog? You mean our dog? No, I mean my dog, Chop. You got the wrong hand. House. Now leave immediately. And what if I don't leave? Is this how it's gonna be? If you don't leave, you die. Three, two, one. Okay, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving, guys. Oh my days, dude. I think Job's in that room, and they're gonna get me if I go inside. I'll find another way to sneak in. Don't you worry. I am the richest man in the world. Oh, you must be the guy who owns this house then. Well, can I just take Shop back? He's right there. Shop? I think you mean Rex. He's my dog now, and nobody enters my house or takes anything from me without my permission. Oh, jeez, this isn't good. This isn't good. Hey, buddy, please, can I take Chop back? He's mine. Now leave immediately. If you're caught inside my house again, you will die. And my bodyguard will make sure of that. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> can I shoot now? Oh, man, that guy seems crazy. Well, I can't go in his house and take Chop back, but come on, Chop, it's me, Franklin. He's got a taste of the better life, a life you'll never have. If you want this house and if you want your dog back, you gotta buy this house. House. Buy this house? How much does that cost? Oh my days, one sextillion? That's so much money! How on earth am I gonna make a sextillion dollars today? That's literally not possible! The ma... Meet me now! Now? I, 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 that, that's literally it. Uh, okay, okay. All right, I'll, I'll go and meet you. What does he want with me? That's so strange. He didn't even tell me anything. Well, you heard the man, Franklin. Let's go and meet Lamar. What are we doing over here, Lamar? This is the prison. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not going back in there. I'm wanted in there. The most secure vault is underneath this prison. We're going to steal everything inside. And we're going to become rich beyond our wildest dreams. you got to be kidding me, Lamar. This doesn't sound like an easy task. I can already see guards in those towers. We're gonna be fine. I know a way in. Follow me. You know a way in? Well, looks like we got no choice but to follow Lamar. And it's gonna make us rich beyond our wildest dreams, which means we'll be able to buy Chop back. So, how exactly are we sneaking inside the prison? Well, it's simple. You just climb over this and you're in. <sighs> I thought there was an even sneaky way inside. They're definitely gonna see us. Nah, they won't. Don't worry. Oh, yeah, Lamar. Well, we'll just see about that. Come on, Franklin. Let's jump inside. Are they gonna spot me? Ow, jeez. They're gonna spot us if we keep doing that. I'm on this roof, and then I suppose we just gotta jump down here. Oh, my days, dude. I can't believe I'm doing this. I am voluntarily breaking into the prison, and there is a police officer right there. I think I'm just gonna jump down here. As long as I don't get caught, I'm gonna be a happy person. All right, nice. They didn't spot me. Now, where am I going to, Lamar? <laughs> 
gotta find the cell block. Oh, jeez, I didn't realize the plan would be this tricky. Once I find the cell block, we'll take the system down and we'll get this money. Easy peasy. Through this door. Are you sure, Lamar? Yes. Okay, we're going through here. C32. Wow, you weren't joking. Thanks, Lamar. In one of these drains is an entrance to the vault. One of these drains? You don't know which one, Lamar? Which? Oh, my days. Okay, we gotta figure this out. Is it this one? Uh, no, that's not making a noise. I guess we're looking for a loose drain. Uh, no noise either. This one. Ooh, okay, there's a noise on this drain. This one's making a noise. I have a feeling we can pull this one up. What about this one? No noise. All right, guys. We're going in through this one, okay, Lamar? There's only one way to find out, and we're picking this drain up. <laughs> Just gonna dig out some of this dirt underneath. He wasn't joking. No way, there is a drain under here. Come on, Franklin, take the ladder down. Whoa, this is crazy. I'm underground. All right, I think I found some sort of sewage system. Hey, Lamar, are you coming down or what? I'm coming. Okay, Lamar, I'll be waiting for you, buddy. I need directions. Up there is the vault. Blow it open and take the money. All right, Lamar, stand back, dude. Don't worry, I got this. Make sure you put them between the crack. It's the weak spot. All right, Lamar, don't worry. I'm trying everything out you tell me. Put them between the crack. All right, good, good, good. Yeah, I suppose it is a pretty good weak spot. I'm gonna line the entire crack. This might make quite an explosion, and it might shake the ground a little bit, Lamar. All right, perfect. Now let's get out of here, Lamar. This is gonna cause one big explosion. Are you ready for this? Three, two, one. If that hasn't blown a hole in the safe, I don't know what will. <sighs> now I'm in the vault. Oh dear, what is that? Give me one minute. I'm trying to disable them. Disable them? <gasps> No way! There's laser sensors! Hey, Lamar, do you know what happens if, uh, we walk into one of these? Nothing good! They're highly damaging laser sensors! Get caught in one of those and you'll trigger the alarm and you'll also probably die! Oh, no, 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 no! I can see them! They're sparking the wall! Look at that! How's it going with the, uh, system, Lamar? Do you think you can hack this? Come on, you gotta be able to do this, buddy! If you can't, we're not getting to the other side! And on the other side is a computer! I wonder where the gold is! Hey, Lamar, are you sure the money's in here? Positive! Just give me a second. We could wait for it to switch off. Though I'm only given like a millisecond when that happens. There is no way I'm getting through it like that. I think maybe if I crawl though, we might just make it under. This is the craziest idea ever. Yes, that's that one down. Now the question is, can I crawl under this? Oh my days. Oh, I made it. I crawled under them. Hey, Lamar, guess who crawled under the laser? Come on, your turn. Here goes nothing. Oh boy, I'm so nervous. Imagine if there's like another laser which pops out and gets him. Come Come on, Lamar, you can do this. We're almost there. I just need you over here. Yes! We have made it in the safe. What do we have here, huh? A note and a USB drive. Now, let's get out of here, Lamar, before it's out. Ah, jeez. What was that for? I'm sorry, bro. I need the money. Oh, don't you dare get away from me. No, no, no. Come on, Lamar. Come on. Don't do this to me. I'm sorry. I don't have a choice. Hello. What's your emergency? Somebody robbed the vault. I'm sending you location now. The vault? We'll be on our way, sir. He's calling the police on me. Come on, Franklin. We need to get moving. I need to get out of here. Oh, no. I can hear the sirens coming already. Oh, wait. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Where do those stairs go to? Down here. Down here. Wait a second. I think the officers have arrived. Oh, boy. Okay, we can't take the stairs. Come on, Franklin. Get up. Get up. I'm not getting arrested. No, no, no. Hey, officers. This is a big misunderstanding. You don't want to do this. Put your hands where I can see them. No, 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 no. They're not listening. They're not listening to me. All right, let's think, Franklin. There's got to be a way out of here. There's got to be something we can do. I'm going to give you a few seconds, officers, and then it's going to get ugly. Fine. You know what? It's going to get ugly. Get them, Franklin. Shoot them. <laughs> Yes! All right, that's them down. We need backup! Backup! Oh, no, 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 there's backup coming down as well. Okay, in that case, I'm just gonna blow a big hole in this wall and hope for the best. All right, come on, Franklin, put as many of these down as you can before they switch the lasers off. No, 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 I can hear them. They're about to switch the lasers off. Come on, Franklin, come on, come on, we can do this, we can do this. There's like 20 different stickies down on the ground. Behind this desk in three, two, one, blow them up! Oh, my days, oh, please, please, please! Come on, I gotta get out of here! Uh, oh, my days, this is not exactly the place I thought I would end up. This is totally different to where we came in from. Okay, we better get moving before the police find me. Come on, Franklin, get out of here. Get out of this place. Yes, there's a ladder here. All right, so let's shoot this ladder down. Three, two, one. Damn, perfect. All right, let's climb this up. Come on, Franklin, we're getting out of here. So I've ended up over here. Oh, no, this is the other side of the prison. Ah, oh, man, Lamar's gonna be on that hill by now. There's no way I'm getting that USB drive back. All the passwords. Ah, oh, I was so close.
If I had that USB, we could have made a sextillion dollars and stole everyone's money. Lester, hang on a second. What are you phoning me up for? So, you want to get revenge on Lamar? Uh, how do you know about Lamar, Lester? That, 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 that's, um, how? Meet me. I have an idea. Hey, Lester, how are you doing? Now tell me this plan, and whatever you think, I've got my suspicions already this high. I know what you've done. You betrayed me twice in the past. If you know, you know. Now tell me, Lester, how do you know about this heist me and Lamar did? That doesn't matter. Listen, if you want Lamar and your money, then you better listen to me. I'm listening, Lester. I'm listening. Well, he got involved with the wrong people, and they just betrayed him. He's in a van, stuck on top of a mountain. Take the van, return it back, and you'll have your money. I promise. Oh, you better not be lying, Lester. You better not be lying. I'm not lying, okay? Now go get the van. <coughs> <coughs> I really hope Lamar's willing to share this money with me. Actually, no, I think I'll just take it all. <clears throat> hey, soldiers, I heard he got something of mine. Are you having a laugh, son? <laughs> hey, boys, we got something of his. Is he having a laugh? I think so. I think so, boys. Oh, no, I'm not having a laugh. I need that sextillion dollars so I can buy my dog back and become the richest man. So I'm sorry. I'm going to have to take that money from you. Okay. All right. We got a lot of guards here. Oh, my days. You leave me alone, guys. Come on. Can we all be friends? There's probably plenty of money on that USB drive. They think I've got the last guard and they barely scratch me. Well done, Franklin. And the door's locked. I can't get in the back. Oh, well, in that case, I'll be driving this van. Maybe there's a key in the dashboard or something. You're not getting away that easily. Wait a second. He's got a rocket launcher. Drive, drive, drive. Oh, my days. Hey, you just sit tight, Lamar. Go. <laughs> I'm going down the mountain. Is he still firing rockets at me? Oh, my days. All right, don't blow up, please. Lamar, are you still good in there? He's not talking. All right, I, I don't think he's good. Oh, jeez. As long as you have that USB drive, then we should be okay. Just hold on to it, Lamar. Hold on. This is so crazy. I'm driving off the mountain. <laughs> he is alive. Perfect. All right. Well, that's good news. Just a, a few more bumps, Lamar. Don't worry. Well, now I'm at the bottom of the mountain, and those guys are definitely not chasing us now. Let's see if we can open the back of this van. Now I've got a bit more time. Who's this guy? Oh, my. Days. Lester, did you set me up? This isn't Lamar. Right, that's it. I'm giving Lester a call. Lester, you set me up. This is not Lamar. Calm down. He knows information. Just, just bring him back, okay? Lester, who is this guy and why do you need him? Follow me outside. Listen, Lester, I'm not here to dilly-daddle. I'm here to get Lamar and get my USB back, okay? He's the only person who knows where Lamar is. And now you got him. I know where he is. He's over here. He has this secret base. It's underwater. It's pretty crazy. I can't wait to be Become a sextillionaire. It's a shame Franklin got set up like that, but I don't care. I'm gonna be rich anyway. Well, here we are. There's an elevator which takes me down into the base. All right, is this gonna be? It's open. Wow, Lamar, so easy. It's like he wanted me to be here, and this is a crazy underwater base. Oh my days! Wait a second. I'm wanted, Franklin. This isn't good. I need that money now. We need to clear our name. It is so unfair that I'm wanted and Lamar isn't. Now the question is, where is he? Lamar, it's over. Give me the USB. Drive, I found you and your secret location. I was gonna split the money, I promise. I was just, uh, um, uh, protecting it. Yeah, that seems like an unlikely story, Lamar. Now tell me, where's the USB drive? It's, uh, uh, I lost it. You lost it, huh? So it wouldn't happen to be plugged into your laptop down there. I think I found it, Lamar. I'll just be taking that USB. Ow, jeez. Oh, my... Seriously, again? Can I just please become a sextillionaire and get my dog back? Lamar Davis, at your service. Where have you been? I was sleeping. I'm sorry. Ow! 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 Lester Crest, at your service. Lester? Oh, my days. Thanks for showing up. What are you doing here? I need to take the money. Now, where's the USB drive? Give it to me. Oh, I knew Lester would screw me over. Lester, listen, man. The USB's in the laptop. Just take it. I'm wanted. I need a sextillion dollars just so I can get my dog back. That's all I need it for, okay? Yep, that's cool. Don't worry. I'll just be down here. I'll be down. Ow! No, someone shot Lester. What is going on? Lamar, give me the USB drive. It's over. This must be one of the bad guys that we took out on Mount Chiliad. I think we can do this, Franklin. He's not aiming at us. It's over, buddy. It's over. Yes. Yes. <laughs> nice. All right, he's down. Lamar, I'm not screwing around. Give me the USB drive. Perfect. I've got the USB. I've got the paper. Now I'm getting out of here. <laughs> 
Oh, come on, Franklin. Come on, come on. I am not spending another second in that house. Oh, amazing. I finally left. I can't believe how many people showed up in there. And there's gonna be more of them. I just know there is. Well, here we are. Leave the helicopter on the rooftop. Perfect. Come on, let's see how much money's on this USB. <laughs> Have we done it? Can I finally buy this house? Man, 750 quintillion dollars. I'm three quarters of the way there. I thought there would be more than this. Way more. Think, Franklin, think. There's got to be something we can do to make some money. <sighs> Simeon, what do you want? My boy, I got a job for you. Get here now. What? Uh, 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 a job? You're not going to tell me any details or anything? Oh, my days. Well, this seems pretty standard to the other phone calls where they just don't tell me anything. Let's see what Simeon wants me to do. How much money are we talking about, Simeon? I need 250 quintillion. Quintillion. Yeah, yeah, I know. 250 quintillion. Easy. Bring this car to me. I pay you money, okay? Easy? Who just says easy to 250 quintillion dollars? That is not easy, Simeon. Oh, jeez. All right, you know what? Let's just go and get this car. I'll get it over and done with. Simeon can be trusted. Oh, wait. Hang on. Simeon's calling me again. What is it, Simeon? Where's the car? I forgot to tell you. The car is, uh, how do I say this? In the Arctic, okay? The, the Arctic, Simeon? That's really far away. I know, which is why you need plane. Go airport, okay? How long is it going to take us to get there? Ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived at the Arctic. Temperature outside is minus 35 degrees Celsius. If you don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, work it out for yourself. This is really cold out here. Look at all the snow. How are we going to land this plane? Wait a second. You're not just going to land it here, are you? Are you crazy right now? Oh, my days. We're landing in a field. This is going to be a rough landing, and we have landed. Perfect. I landed, and he didn't even crash. Well, I'm glad to be out of that plane, and it is freezing out here. Franklin, please tell me you packed a hoodie. The things I do for Simeon, huh? The things we do. Let's do this. Three, two, one. Oh. Yes, I've got it out the ground. That worked. Amazing. All right, let's get this ride. It's completely covered in snow. Look at that. It's ice white. And I can't wait to get this thing back home. The question is, how am I going to do that? There he is. Simeon, I got the ride for you. And I spent two weeks of my time driving it back home. I must say, not a single scratch. I think it looks like it's in excellent condition. Hey, Simeon, this is a really nice car, buddy. Now, listen, all I need is 250 quintillion. Have you got that for me? I've only got 100 quintillion. Here you go. 100? No, Simeon, that's not gonna do. Come on, please give me more. I, I spent ages getting this car back. How about this? Tell them to like the video and I will give you all the money you need. Are you kidding me? Guys, like the video. Simeon. Simeon's gonna give me all the money I need if you do. Hey, Simeon, I think they'd like the video, buddy. Now, now, please, give me the rest of the money so I can finally become a sextillionaire and get shot back. I don't see enough likes. Ah, oh, man, guys, if you haven't pressed like on the video yet, do it now and get this episode to a sextillion likes. Come on, I know we can do it. Yeah, time is up. I see a couple of likes. Here, take 50 quintillion. Simeon, what am I supposed to do with that dude? I need to get shot back. You're beginning to annoy me, kids. Get off my land now. Oh, jeez. Simeon doesn't even want me here anymore. He's not got any jobs for me, not got any more work. Come on, I just need a hundred quintillion dollars. There's got to be someone out there who has a job for me. Not Trevor, though. Oh, my days. No, you got to be kidding me, Trevor. I have a job for you. Get here now. What is it up with the get here now comments, dude? Why can't you just tell me on the phone? Well, let's go and see what Trevor wants me to do. Fingers crossed, this time, it's not a dangerous job. It's a secret military base. Inside are three important items. Collect all of them. The USB drive, a piece of paper with the codes, and the general. The codes are in a vault. You'll find it, I promise. Whoa, he wasn't joking. This really is a secret base. Wow, I'm underground. And the military are here. Right, we don't want any trouble. I gotta take out these guards before they even notice. Bam, he's down. Get him. Get him. All right, nice. Last guy. Bam. All right, he's down as well. Perfect. This is going as planned. No one's noticed me and everything's going well. Wait a second, though. There is one guy here. Bam, he's down. Okay, I need to check this out. I think I found the general and there's a couple of other people in there. Hey, general, is it time for world domination? I don't know. What are you asking me for? Well, you're the general, you know? You you know, forget it, okay? So I found the general, and I don't really want to raise any alarms yet, so... Hmm, let's not drag him out yet. Yep, that ought to do it. All right, you just stay there, buddy. I've tied your legs together and your arms as well. There's no escaping for you, and I'll be back for you later. So I got the general. That's so easy. Now i got to get inside that safe, which I think is all the way down there. They're building a mineshaft underground. Well, I've wiped out all of those guys. Now let's see, what's going on here? 
Whoa, there's a lava in there. Whoa, this is some sort of smelting factory. Well, that's beyond me. All I need to do is find this safe. And there's a couple of guards in my way. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Oopsie. <laughs> More of you guys have to go. I'm sorry. Well, I've infiltrated the base and I found the safe. Let's go inside. Oh. <gasps> No way! There's so much money down here! <laughs> I should have bought a bag with me. Here we go, computers. Now the USB has to be in here. Now I've got the USB. Where is the note of codes? Yes, I found it! This must be the note of codes. Perfect! Now, mister, you're coming with me. Trevor's got a word to pick with you. Please, I got a wife and kids. I'll tell you everything you need to know. Everything! Unless you have a hundred quintillion dollars, I'm not interested. So until you cough up that money, <laughs> I'm taking you to the highest bidder. Hey, Trevor, look. Look who it is. I got the general for you. Excellent work. That was a record time. Here's your money. Only 70 quintillion? Trevor, come on. You know I need 100. Dude, I'm like 30 quintillion away from getting shot back. Oh, man. I gotta find another way to make some money. Oh, Simeon, seriously? I thought you had no jobs for me. Now you pick up. I need a car collecting. Like, now! Oh, jeez. All right. I go underground for like one minute and Simeon gives me 100 missed calls. Not my problem, Simeon. Let's go and get this car. Apparently, it's nearby. He's giving me the location. In Inside the Humane Labs is a golden truck carrying materials which is priceless to Simeon. If I can return this truck to him, we're gonna become a sextillionaire. 100%. Oh, here we go. He's calling me now. It's driving! It's driving! Oh, jeez. All right, I'm late. It's already driving. Guys, I think I can see the truck. Is that what I think it is? There's some scientists and some people have taken him out the car. I should have picked up that phone earlier. There's the truck from the Humane Labs and it's gold. Right, I need to get that truck before they do. Come on, Franklin, get in the car and get driving. Oh, no, I'm too late. They've already taken the truck. All right, sorry, scientists. I gotta get this truck now. And it's over there. Oh, my days, dude. They already got a head start. Don't let them escape, Franklin. We gotta get that truck. All right, here it is. Hey, excuse me. Pull over. I need the truck. Not a chance. Well, in that case, we're gonna do this the difficult way. Oh, what's that? You wanna get past me? Oh, my days. This guy's in an armored truck. There's no way I can get him with this. Perfect. I think I'm getting him stuck. All right, let's just wedge the car here. Oh, no, you don't, buddy. Come on, this is it. It's now or never. All right, the car's behind. That was my chance. He just got himself stuck. You're a terrible driver. Come on, get out! Oh my days, he's shooting at me. Go, 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 go! I'm glad this thing's armored. I'm really happy it's armored. Oh, Simeon! Now all I need is 30 quintillion dollars. I got the truck. Whatever is inside, not my concern, all right? It's all yours, buddy. You did great! Here's 29 quintillion. Simeon, you gotta be kidding me, dude. 29 quintillion? That means I'm one quintillion away from a sextillion. Can you please, please, just give me the one quintillion? Come on, I've done so much today! Oh, Val, Franklin Clinton! Oh no, he needs a job! Val I got one job for you. To do this job for me, I make you sextillion now, okay? Okay, Simeon. You got a deal. Break into military base. Find jets. Return to Simeon. Easy. Oh, my days. Simeon, you gotta be kidding me. Now, all I need to do is find a jet. I found a tank. Oh, my days. Franklin, go around the back of him. Perfect. And there's another tank as well. Oh, jeez. Please don't shoot. Don't shoot. Oh, that was so close. All right, we're gonna get this jet. I am 0.1% away from getting to a sextillion dollars. And Simeon has to do this. Come on, where's this military jet? I know there's one here somewhere. And there's somebody in it. Oh, no, no, no. Stop him before he gets away. Quick, Franklin, get him, get him, get him. Oh, my goodness. He must be in the only jet in the base. I can already see people shooting at me. Come on, Franklin, get in the jet. And let's fly away from here. I just need to get out of here. Come on, go, 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 go. Duck down. Oh, jeez. No, they're gonna get me. That was so crazy. They tried to lock on. I just about dodged their missile. So, Simeon, where do you want this jet landing, huh? Since you didn't tell me where to land this thing, I think I'll just leave it on the road. Or even better. What about through your window. Perfect. Well, your jet's here, Simeon. A deal is a deal, my friend. Here, take some money. I have just made more than a sextillion dollars. We've done it, Franklin, from zero dollars to a sextillion. Well, this is gonna be super easy and simple. <laughs> I have made enough money to buy the house back. See? Check it out. That's a sextillion dollars. I can't wait to buy this house. Now, let's just go over his lovely supercars. Okay, this one. There's this one. Oh, my days. There's so many cars here, dude. All of these are about to be mine. Every Everything on this land, I'm gonna buy. Do you want me to sort him out, boss? No, it's okay. This guy's just messing with us. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. Fine. I just bought your house. And since it's mine, I can go inside and do what I want. Speaking of which, I would love to find Chop. Oh, Chop, where are you, buddy? I just bought the house. Well, now I have two sextillion. I'm still the richest man. I'll just buy this house back. Go on, buy the house. I dare you. <laughs> Wait, wait, who are you? <laughs> Big misunderstanding. I'm gonna move somewhere else. That's right you are. And you're gonna give me your money first. Uh, whoa, 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 hang on a second. I got loads of money. I'll pay 
pay you something if you let me go. You want me to sort him out, Franklin? No, it's okay. We'll leave Trevor to handle this one. Go on, Trevor. Get every penny he has. Wait, there's everything. I can't lose everything. Well, you're about to. Now pay up. Oh, I'm so glad I got your security team on my side. Now no one is going to bother me. That's the last time we both go on a Sunday drive chop, at least in the busy areas. We've got to go somewhere quieter. I don't want to risk losing you again. Well, now I've got his amazing house and hundreds of cars and two six trillion dollars. I think we better go on a crazy spending spree, starting with four luxury yachts. There's only one of me, but now there's four boats. We can try and sink one another and have parties at the same time. These are the most expensive yachts you can get in GTA 5, and each one of them is so rare. Nowhere near as rare as owning a fleet of 747 jumbo jets. And I did some talking to Simeon. I managed to buy the car I got in the last episode, which is made entirely from meteor rocks. Everything you can imagine costs $3 each for today only in GTA 5. From supercars to mansions to even a good old cheeseburger. I know what you're thinking. Franklin, the iconic millionaire, billionaire, multi-trillionaire from the heist we've done, is gonna be a baller today. We're buying everything around, except... That's not quite true. Whilst everything is listed as $3 in this game, Franklin has no money. Now, I've only got $2. Yep, $2. Wow, we really are poor, Franklin. So let's take a look around this place. I will turn your house upside down until we find a dollar bill. If you guys see it, I want you to scream as loud as you can at your laptop or computer or TV. Whatever you're watching this on. <gasps> Maybe if I check these shoe boxes, there's got to be something under there, guys. Shoes, shoe box. Shoes, shoes, anything. Oh, come on, guys. There's got to be a dollar bill here somewhere. What about rounds here? Be oh, I really thought there would be something there. Do I have to turn the mattress upside down? Speaking of which, no, there's nothing under the bed. Come on, Franklin. You've got to have some money. <gasps> money! Yes! I found the dollar bill! Oh, right underneath the golf bag. You know what that means. I have got three big ones in the bank account. Hey, look at the cars Simeon selling. So many nice cars around here. Ooh, I wonder which one we're gonna buy first. Hang on, there's cars in there as well. What is that one? Hey, I gotta take a look at that, guys. I'm gonna go inside quickly. Simeon, are you selling this one too? It's a solid gold Lamborghini. Oh my days, guys, I gotta buy this one first. So, you want to buy a car? It's going to cost you three bucks. Yes, Simeon, I wanna buy a car. That one in there. You need to buy ten cars from me if you wanna buy that one. Yes, the Lamborghini. It's a beautiful car. I don't wanna sell it today. I'd rather sell it tomorrow when it's worth 25 million big ones. <gasps> I gotta buy 10 cars from him? Oh my days, that's so much money. I've only got $3 on me. Okay, so 10 cars. Simeon, are you sure you can't cut me a deal? Kid, you're annoying me now. Hey. If you want to buy any car from me, you're gonna need 10,000 likes on this video. Just for complaining? 10,000 likes. Okay, guys, okay. So if I want to buy any car from him, you have to press like on this video. It's not my rules, it's Simeon. All right, Simeon. I think we've got 10,000 likes. Hey, that's a lot of likes. Okay, which car do you want to buy first? Nice, it works, guys. Thank you so much. Now, which car do we want to buy first? I want to go for this one. Actually, I think we'll start on the outside first. I'm gonna get this one, please. Oh. Oh yeah, I've got my first ever supercar, the Overflood Tyrant, for three dollars. <laughs> yeah. Come on, let's go. Now, how am I supposed to make my money, guys? I now have zero dollars in my bank account. I gotta buy nine more cars from Simeon if I want that Lamborghini. Hang on, Simeon's giving me a phone call. What does he want? Hey, kid, do you want a job? My employee left me. I'll pay you well. Yeah, Simeon wants to give me a job. Well, last time I spoke to him, he wasn't gonna sell me anything unless we press like on the video. Looks like he's. He's got a turn of attitude. Okay, he says he'll pay me well. Let's go and work for him, guys. I wonder what he needs doing. Okay, the car Simeon wants me to collect is at the observatory. It should be that one right there. The only one parked up. Let's get inside and take this back to Simeon, guys. How much do you reckon he's gonna pay me? Now, just get inside and let's drive this back to, uh... To Simeon, Franklin, please tell me you can't break into this car. The owner's gotta be around here, guys. Let's find the keys. The more people who I hit, the more chance of a one to level I'm gonna get. This is not gonna end well. So who do we think owns the adder? They could even be up the trail as well. Oh my days, they could be any of these people, dude. They could be any of them. Am I just gonna have to knock out everyone at the observatory? 
<laughs> Come on. Uh-oh. She's walking away. She knows I'm trouble. I have a feeling she's the owner of the car. Come on, chase her down. Get her. Yes. Hang on. She had the key. <laughs> Get in. Let's open up the adder and drive this back to Simeon. And this key should be for the adder. She was definitely expecting Simeon to take that car away from her. Oh, boy. Well, I got the adder. It's a beautiful car. Fast car as well. Almost half a tank of fuel. Plenty of fuel to drive this back to Simeon and get paid the big bucks. Hey, did someone order a blue adder? Because I got one for you, Simeon. <laughs> now pay me my money. You said you would pay me well. Thank you. Here, as promised, take my $10. $10? $10. Simeon, you gotta pay me more, buddy. You've been paying me half a million on random days. Jeez, $10. Okay, okay, okay. We got $10 now. I can buy three more cars. That means we're just six cars away from getting that golden Lamborghini in the windows. Which cars will want to buy first? Three cars. Uh, that one, that one, and you know what? I'll get this one as well. Simeon, I'll take all three of them, please. Now, do you have any other jobs for me? Now you mentioned there is one more job you could do. I'll send you the location. Nice. We got another job. Well, after that one, we should easily have enough to, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe eight cars. We'll be so close to getting the golden Lamborghini. Any moment now, somebody is going to be leaving in an orange supercar from their apartment down here. Now, all we need to do is wait for that car to leave the garage. I will spend all day here if that's what it takes, Franklin. I'm getting that money and I'm getting that golden Lamborghini. There it is. Grab it before he drives away, Franklin. Yes, I'm in. <laughs> hey, I'll be taking this. Thank you. Oh, jeez, he's got a gun. He's got a hammer. Go, go. <laughs> Who carries a hammer with them? Are you kidding me? Is he chasing me? Okay, he's left me alone. Dude, why did he have a hammer on him? Like, come on, out of all the things, I thought it was a gun. And guess who's back, Simeon? Oh, yeah, in your brand new orange supercar. This was the right one, wasn't it? Thank you. Here, enjoy. $10 again. Okay, fair enough. Now we have uh, $11. I'll take it. That's a fair bit of money. So we've already purchased four different cars. With $11, I can almost get another four, but we're going to buy three more. So uh, let's get, I've oh got those three, that one, that one, and that one. Now that means we've purchased seven supercars from Simeon, and we have $2 left over. In one more job's time, I'll be able to purchase the golden Lamborghini. What? No more jobs? You always have jobs for me, Simeon. What do you mean? Oh, my days. I need to find money elsewhere. Let's see, Franklin. Who else do we know that can pay us money? Simeon and Simeon. Not many other people. Wait, is that Lamar? What are you doing here, Lamar? I haven't spoken to you in ages. Franklin, I got a job for you. What do you think? It pays well. Well, another job. Everyone's asking me to do stuff today. Maybe it's because they can pay so little. I'll do it anyway. Lamar, what's the job? When I accepted Lamar's job, I wasn't expecting this. But for some reason, he wants me to rescue a buddy of his from inside the prison. I didn't say no, so we're doing it, Franklin. I just gotta fly this in, land it in the courtyard, and apparently they will run to the helicopter. Afternoon, everybody. Oh my days, there's so many people there. Uh-oh, now I've got the four stars. Hey, hey, I'm looking for someone. You know who you are. Get in the helicopter. Jeez, the police are gonna, like, arrest me in no time. Oh, my days, that basketball hoop is, like, tripping up the helicopter. Hey, stop shooting! Oh, that's just about enough. I'm chasing this guy down now. Can you get in my helicopter, please? I need to get you out of here, like, right now! Come on, get him, Franklin. Get him! You're faster than him. I know you are. I'm gonna lose my helicopter. We're gonna be stuck inside the... Yes. Oh, jeez, he's got a shotgun. All right, grab him. Let's get the sheriff. Yeah, slap him. <laughs> Finally, I got a gun. Oh, my days. Yeah, even guns cost $3. They didn't want to waste money on that. Okay, I'm going to shoot everybody here. And then hopefully, that guy's going to be at the helicopter. If I get stuck in the prison, I am not going to be very happy. Can you get in the helicopter, please? Oh, there's a guard. He's going for it. No, you don't. I've only got 14 bullets, dude. 14 bullets. Oh, finally. Here he comes. Keep... Oh, he, he, he's dead. You, oh, he's good, he's good, he's good. Come on, get in. Are you getting in the helicopter or what? Get in. Stop shooting him. I am getting paid for escorting him out of here. Okay. Oh, my days, he's bleeding out. Come on, I'll drag you in here if I have to. Stop making a fuss and get in the helicopter. Oh, my days. Why do you keep shooting him? Who is this guy? Okay, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> oh, my days. They've got annihilators and stuff. Yo, if Lamar does not pay me at least $100, I think I'm gonna have to slap him. So, yeah, let's just, let's wait and see what he pays me. Wait. 
wait, where's he gone? Lamar, I promise he was in the helicopter. Look, okay, Lamar, I, 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 I'm not kidding. He was in. The, you guys saw that. I got him out of there. Hey, Franklin, don't worry. I told him to jump. Anyway, here's your money. Thank you. Nine dollars? You're kidding me. Lamar, you're paying me nine dollars. Simeon paid me more, and all I did was take a car for him. I didn't take out Los Santos Most Wanted. You're being so tight, Lamar. I can buy three more cars, and that means we have ten cars, but it means I'm one dollar away from the golden Lamborghini. I'll take the other three cars, thank you. Let's get that one, that one, and that one. Wait, what's Michael doing here? Michael! Hey, Franklin, fancy your wager? I bet $50 you can't beat me at a game of golf. $50? You want to bet $50? Yo! If I beat him in a game of golf, I get $50. Where have you been all day, Michael? I've literally done crazy stuff for Simeon and Lamar, and you just show up with 50 big ones? Yeah, I'm on. Don't tell him I don't have $50. Let's do this. As it turns out, Trevor wants in on the bet too. So if we win this game, I get a hundred dollars, but if we lose, I also lose a hundred dollars. Come on guys. Come on fellas This is gonna be the most stressful game of golf. I've ever had. Okay, let's do hundred and four percent Wind is pushing. I think that's pretty good. Okay, whack it That ain't bad Franklin. No, 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 not in the sand pit. Not in the Okay Okay, that ain't bad. That ain't bad. That could have been worse, Franklin. Could have been worse. Oh, my days. What's Trevor gonna do? Yes, that's a bad one. Over the hedge? In the sand pit. Look at that, guys. Trevor has screwed up there. <laughs> okay, 100... 200. Michael. Oh, my days. Michael has done a little bit better than me. Oh, jeez. Come on. Come on. That's good. That's good. I'll take it. I'll take it. Yes. Yes. I'm on the green. Could have been better, but I'm on the green. How's Michael gonna perform? In the sand pit? <gasps> Oh, that was so close. No, he's gonna get that in. He's gonna win. He's so gonna win. I need to get this shot in. <laughs> Trevor's out. <laughs> he's actually knocked himself out. Okay, I need to get the ball in if we want any chance of winning this. Just a bit over. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I got it in. I got it in. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, my days. We drew. We drew. You know what that means, guys? We gotta do another game. Me and Michael drew, so we gotta do another one. Michael is in a really bad position. Yes. Yes, he's stuck in the tree. Look at that unplayable lie, Michael. Here he goes. And that was almost in. You gotta stop with these crazy shots. I'm telling you now, Michael. Perfect. 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 So perfect. And that's in the hole. Par again. Now it's up to Michael. If he doesn't get this on par... <laughs> yes! I've done it! <laughs> Double bogey! Let's go! Look at me. I'm the winner now. We're the winner! We've done it, guys! 100 big ones! Hey, guys, it's been a pleasure. But i got to spend this money now. Everything's $3 for today only. So I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Thanks for the $100. That was such a good idea. Thanks for bringing Trevor along as well. And this is my mansion. One of many. <laughs> Golden helicopters, strike force rocket jets, and I've got a garage full of super cars. Every single one I could buy. Oh, look at this garage. It's just beautiful. And we've got a skylight view looking down as well. There's a swimming pool on the inside and the outside. And if you get bored, you can always play snooker at the end. And if snooker isn't quite your game, you can always go through my secret door at the end of the corridor, which takes you to the TV room. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is the best mansion ever. Hey, Franklin, I told you we would be a baller. I knew it would happen. I knew we could do this, and we did. Now I own so many many cars and so many houses, I literally don't even know what to do with myself. I'm just gonna drive my Lamborghini around Los Santos. Guys, look at the inside. You can't buy this in GTA 5. No wonder why Simeon didn't want to sell it to me. It's so rare and so exclusive. This is one dollar. This is a million dollars. There's not enough paper in the universe to print a million dollars, but there's enough numbers. It's this much money. Faster, faster, no, faster. Ugh, I give up. We would have to wait 10 years just for the number to end. I'm not even kidding. There's a lot of things you can buy with a million dollars, like one quintillion of every vehicle in the universe, or the entire world a billion times. But today, I'm spending every single dollar I have on a house upgrade. <laughs> I think it's well worth the money. This place will be transformed. I want it to fly, defend itself, defy expectations and imaginations to be the best house we've ever seen 
in history. There's a lot of things I want to do to this place. And after 13 different upgrades, it's about time we do the dream. The ultimate, the biggest upgrade ever seen. And that must be the builders now. <laughs> Are you ready to meet them? Hello, hello, hello. Ooh, there's a lot of people here. And as always, they're on my roof. How's it going, Tony? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing pretty well, you know. We're doing a McGillionaire house upgrade. I didn't think we would ever make it this far, but we have. So, you got the money? Yes, of course I've got the money, mister. <laughs> got a McGillionaire dollars. Here you go. Uh, what? Wait, it won't let me send the money. Why does it say blocked? Hey, are you gonna send the money or what? Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to send the money. Give me... Once. It keeps saying blocked. Why can't I pay him the money? Hey, wait, do you, do, you, do you hear that? Sounds like police sirens. Give me one second, okay? I just gotta go and uh, check something inside the house. <sighs> oh, boy. They better not be after me. That's getting pretty loud. We'll be fine, we'll be fine. We'll just stay inside. There's builders out there. <gasps> Where did they come from? Why are there so many police officers? Right, hide, hide, hide. There's no one in. Come out with your hands up. There's no one in. Wait, I'm talking, aren't I? Um, what do we do? Guys, there's police officers everywhere. But it just broke down the door downstairs. Okay, here goes nothing. I'm going to uh, make a breakthrough through the kitchen. Three, two, one. Here goes nothing. Here goes nothing. You'll never take me alive. Never. Ah, ah. Oh, they had to shoot me in the back. Franklin Clinton, how did you make this much money? Oh, give me a second, buddy. I haven't even woken up yet. How did I make this much money? What do you mean? The Megalia dollars. People don't just get that overnight. Hey, listen, man. I work very hard for that money. Doing what? Um, selling merchandise. 0.4lifeshop.com. <laughs> yeah. That's it. You're coming with me. Hey, 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 where are you taking me? You can't take me anywhere. Oh, my daisy's dragging me. Duh. What are you to do? Well, I'm not going in there. Oh, yes, you are. Duh. Duh. Ow! Oh, man, my head! Wait, I just lost my money. No, give it back! I earned that money! No! Where are they taking me? Hello? Can someone talk to me? What's going on? You can't just take my money away! This isn't good, this isn't good! No, I'm not gonna be quiet. Come on, you gotta work with me, buddy! We can do something! Uh, I'll pay you some money, you get me out of here! Uh, uh, oh, you didn't need to do that! Well, there goes Franklin. Oh. Hey, uh, where'd you go? Franklin? I'll be waiting! Oh, wait, I don't recognize this place. What am I doing in here? I've done nothing. You guys have no evidence. I believe you broke into a bank and changed your wealth level. That's ridiculous. I would never do anything like that. This is ludicrous. Besides, where's your proof? You have no right to put me in here. We have CCTV footage. You're on the camera. Um, oh, that wasn't me. That was my evil twin. Oh, yeah? Who was he? Um, Franklin. Boys, uh, look up for Franklin. I got a match, boss. Lives in Alaska. Got a wife and seven kids. Oh, what are you waiting for? Bring him here. Uh, really? Yes. This is important. Okay. Is there really a Franklin? No, 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 no. That, that, that can't be right. I literally made that name up. Wait, what? They actually found him. <laughs> That's so weird, he looks like me! Hey, uh, Franklin Clinton, did you rob a bank? No, sir, I, I was just in Alaska trying to fish some fish. Uh, you can go. Oh, I did that, but who's that guy in the cell? He looks a little bit like a me. Uh. He's none of your business. So how to go with Franklin? He's innocent. You're guilty. You're gonna die in here, Frank. No, 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 that's not what I wanted to hear. Come on! Can't believe they put me in here because they have some footage of me on a computer. Ugh. Why can't they just believe I've made this incredible amount of money? I suppose at this point, it is literally impossible to become a McGillionaire, so <laughs> I don't really blame them for not believing me, but there has to be something I can do! Uh, subscribe to break free. Wait, I think we can do something. You gotta die in here, Franklin. There's nothing you can do about it. This guy says I'm gonna die in here, but we can break out if you subscribe to the channel. Let's give this a go. Only sometimes this happens, and the game literally works with you guys. If you subscribe to the channel, something's gonna happen which allows me to escape. It could be a big explosion. It could be a door being unlocked. I could even be given a gun. Who knows? But I'm gonna be able to escape if you subscribe. But I need you to do it right now. So please, subscribe to the channel. <laughs> it's disappeared. Well, it wasn't an explosion. What was it? Oh, I've been given a pistol. Well, don't mind if I do. A pow, a pow, a pow. Get them, Franklin. <laughs> Whoa, game two. Jeez. Stay on the floor, guys. Oh, my days. Why do you have so much armor? <laughs> right, there's got to be all of them, right? Oh, no. Now I set the alarms off. Great. Now everyone's going to be looking for me. Grab the gun, Franklin. Grab the gun. Whoa, wait. Where, 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 I, I got a second. Where am I? Was I underground? I think I was. What? All right, get up the ladder. The alarms are going off, dude. This is crazy. If they 
come through that door at the top, they're gonna see me escaping. This is a real high security place. I have no idea where I am, but we're about to find out. There's the top. There's the top, dude. Come on, Franklin. Almost there. Just keep on climbing. You're gonna be just fine. And, oh, beautiful. <gasps> I was in the prison the whole time. Okay, that's fine. I've escaped from this place too many times. I know exactly what to do. Right, if I can get to one of those towers, I can jump off and try not to break my legs. That's literally the best way out of here. Come on, Franklin. Come on. Come on, come on, dude, before the helicopters catch up. All right, nice. If we get up the stairs, almost there, buddy. I can hear sirens outside. There's more and more police cars coming. <laughs> I actually don't believe this. All right, before we leave, can I see any helicopters? If I can shoot the pilots, we might just be able to steal one. Oh, yes, okay, there is a helicopter there. Careful, careful, come on. No, it's bulletproof. I need to go out front. Okay, here goes nothing. Three, two, one. Oh, no, I missed. Do I really have to risk breaking my legs? Oh, I got one guy. I need to get the pilot. No. Oh, wait. Yes, I got the pilot. Yes. <laughs> Please don't explode. Don't explode. Oh, come on. This is going to be really tricky. Hey, guys, come on. I'm not going to shoot you down. I promise. I can literally see the heads, but it's too far away. Oh, okay, looks like we have to break our legs. Good luck, Franklin. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, we're okay. Everything's fine. Everything's just fine. All right, run. Run. <laughs> I got a plan, Franklin. Oh, boy. Okay, we can really do it doing this plan now. There's literally the SWAT team chasing me. I will deal with these guys first. And we'll find a car and steal that and get on the train. Next car I see is mine. Come on. Why is the road so empty? Oh, no, 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 no. This is really stressing me out. I am not going back to prison. Not today. Not tomorrow. Not even the next day. We are staying out as a free man and I'm getting my money back. I want to upgrade my house. Oh, perfect. There's a police car. Hey, freeze. Freeze. Get the driver. The other guy. Nice, nice. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> We're getting that police car, Franklin. Yes. All right, I'm in. Beautiful. Get out, mister. <laughs> I need to borrow this for a second. All right, nice. I've got a police car. Where everything's going to be fine. I'm protected. The helicopters won't be able to do anything to me now. As long as we don't burst, the tires will be A-OK. -okay. All right, the train is this way. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Yes, it's right there. Oh, that's so convenient. <laughs> yeah. Is there a carriage I can climb on? This is going to be really tight, you know. I think i got to go around the back. All right, don't miss this, Franklin. Don't miss this. Three, two, one, climb. Yes! <laughs> Yes. All right, hide. Get down. Get down, Franklin. Get down. Oh, they'll never see me in here. Except, oh, no. They got helicopters. Right, that's it, Franklin. We need to get into a carriage now. This will do. It's a bit dark and kind of empty, but they'll never find me in here. <laughs> they'll have to stop the train, which we all know is physically impossible to do. Phew. Wanted level gone. I escaped the prison and we're safe and sound. Well, I'll be leaving this train. I won't be needing this anymore. I could do with another outfit, though. I mean, I can't exactly walk around in a prison outfit. Everyone's gonna know who I am. And I don't think Franklin's very good right now. We definitely injured ourselves jumping off that tower. Maybe I can find some spare clothes around here. Yes, perfect. I've already found a few workers. All right, I'll just borrow their clothes. Thanks, guys. All right, nice. Now we're actually unrecognizable again. No prison outfit on us. That's that's always a bonus. Now, let's find a way to get my money back. Because after all, they took my megillion dollars. I still want to upgrade my house. There's only one way to make that money back. And wait, how did I get five stars? There's a camera pointing right at me. How did they know? They must have every camera in the world spying on me. This isn't good. I'm most wanted. Hey, what are you looking at? Get him, Franklin. Get him. Hey, can I borrow your helicopter for a second? Thanks, guys. You're the best. <laughs> I'll be taking this now. I can't believe this. Every single camera in the universe is picking me up. And if I'm spotted on any of them? Like in a five-star wonder level. They really want to lock me up for good. There's only one person I know who can sort this out. Lester. Hey, Lester. I need you to clear my name. Can you do that? Sure, but it will cost you. I, I don't have any money right now. Is there anything else I can do? Hey, there is one thing. Go to this location. I'll tell you what to do. All right, you're not giving me any more instructions. Where did he want me to go to? Over there? Okay, that's cool. I just need to figure out a way to lose the wanted level. I can't believe this. What if I just go really, really high? There's no way they're gonna follow me up there. Like, that would be stupid. I would like to see them try and go this high. I can see the curve of the planet up here. Whoa, there's a secret house here. I had no idea this existed. Um, Lester, I'm at the address. What have I got to do? Break in, find the owner, and bring him back in his car. It's easy. Don't ask any questions. This is exactly what Lester wants once, and it's how I'm gonna clear my name. Lester's a busy man. Every single time I talk to him, he seems to always have something new for me to do. Now, let's take a look. Who lives here? Like, it could be someone very important. Actually, let's see what car they have first. I saw the golden helicopter on the roof, and whoa, check it out. Golden supercar. Is that what I think it is? It is. Ladies and gentlemen, Lamborghini. This person is 
is bowling. Now let's go and find them, shall we? Downstairs or upstairs? I'm thinking upstairs. Let's try out that first. Hello, is there anybody in? Anybody? Ooh, sliding door. Oh, whoa, whoa, check this out. Wait, why are they tracking me? Oh, okay, this person's watching me. All right, this is pretty big news. Now I understand why they want to take me in. <laughs> now I see where they got the footage from. It could have been Franklin, though. I mean, his alibi was terrible. Can't just say you're somewhere and have to believe you. Right, so this person clearly has been dragging me all this time. Maybe wanted my money, but now the police took it from me. They're after the police. This is so crazy. How does Lester know all this? Bro, let's go and find him. I want to know who this person is. Downstairs it is. Whoa, this is nice. Look at all the trophies. Whoa. Hey, Lester, you sure this isn't your place, buddy? <laughs> this is crazy. All right, what, what's through here? Another keypad locked away. Gold, cash, nice. Okay, that's interesting. There's a swimming pool next door. They even got me on the TV. I still haven't found anyone. This place is pretty empty. What if they're not even in? They got their own, like, step-up jacuzzi. I'm pretty sure there's a good chance this person isn't even in. They got the PlayStation 5 still in the box. All right, what about through here? Hello, is there anybody in here? Whoa, oh, my days, there is. J Jimmy? Hang on a second. What are you doing here? You own the place. Well, guess what, Jimmy? I need to take you in with me. You're coming with me. Come on, get in, Jimmy. I'm not giving you any other option. What is he doing out here with all this gold money? And he's tracking me. This has become a little bit personal. <laughs> anyway, once I finish this job, I'll have my name cleared and everything will be fine. Uncle Frank, uh, where are you taking me? I'm taking you to Lester. You'll be fine at... No, no, not Lester. Anyone but him, I beg, please. Uh, listen, Jimmy, unless you can clear my name, because right now I am the most wanted in the whole of Los Santos and the universe beyond, you can't cut me a deal. I, I can give you money. Lots of money. No, Jimmy. No, money doesn't matter to me anymore. I have other ways of getting myself money. Ways which you don't even want to risk yourself. You'll end up in this situation. Now, I'm taking him to Lester, and there's nothing you can do about it. I put child lock on as well, so good luck getting out of this car. <laughs> he really hates Lester, but then again, I don't blame him. Lester's pretty evil. Uh, Lester, I'm here. Look who I got, Lester. Jimmy! You idiot! Not here! What, what are you trying to do? Get me busted, too? Oh, whoa, whoa, sorry, Lester. Where am I supposed to go to? I'll tell you. Just, just go! Go! Jeez, Lester really doesn't want me outside his house. There's a garage here. Park in the garage! Lester, just calm down. Calm down, please. I, I don't want to get hurt. Please leave me alone, Lester. All right, is this good? This'll do. Okay, Lester, before before we use that, all right, that's a bit excessive as well. The car's in here. I'm in here. Jimmy's in here. You're in here. Can you just clear my name so I can get out of here now? Yeah, sure. Where are my matters? Here, take this. Oh, okay. All right, I'll cut the rocket launcher now. <laughs> Jimmy, you're not moving. Now, let me see. Uh, I can't do it. What? You said you could do it. Uh, no. No, my contact died a week ago. Don't you have anyone else? Like... You could have told me this before I worked for you. I, I, I thought his password still worked, but they banned it. it. Must be because I used it 17 times since, uh, you know, he departed. Yes. Yes, maybe that would be the reason, Lester. Hey, can I go? No, Jimmy, you're staying. You're the only thing here that's making sure I actually lose this wonder level so I can carry on with my day. Uh, listen, we can figure this out. Just break into the FIV building, change the details, you'll be fine. You can edit your wealth on there, too. You, you probably know that. Really? That's your advice? I could have done that anyway, Lester. At least I helped you, though, right? No, you didn't. Take this back, Lester. I don't want to blow this room up. I'm going to do this myself. I can't believe that was his advice. His advice was to do it myself again. He is the worst. The absolute worst. But you heard the rules, guys. If I want to clear my name and not get wanted, first of all, I'm going to need to wear a mask and a hat. I'm sure Lester won't mind if I rummage through his clothes and find something I can use to protect my identity. Let's see. Where do you keep your clothes? Do you have any? Bro, I don't think Lester has any other change of clothes. All right, find something, Franklin. There's got to be something in here. Yeah, this will do, Frank. Check it out. And no one's going to recognize us on the cameras and anything. We might look really sus, but at least we're going to be fine when it comes to recognizing us. Right, I'll be taking that car. And I'll be off to the FIB building. This is going to be one crazy day. Oh, sorry, guys. Just, just going to borrow this for a second. You'll get it back, I promise. Uh, why am I doing this? This is such a dumb idea. I'm going into the eye of the tiger right now with a bandana. Dana on. These guys are gonna think I'm sus a mile away, and I'm holding a gun. <laughs> All right, let's see how long we can go for without them trying to stop me. All right, screw it. I'm just gonna get them now. Hey, buddy, I need to break into the building. <laughs> oh, jeez, he's shooting! <laughs> Quick, go, 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 go. Sorry, sir. I just need to uh, change some things about me. Yeah, just a few things. It'll be fine. It'll be done in a second. All right, which elevator? Which elevator? I think it's the left one. I'm 
pretty sure it's this one. If this takes me to floor 49, we're gonna be just fine. No alarms being set, no anything, no one is alerted to anyone. This is great news. Oh my days, dude, this guy's at the elevator door. <laughs> Jeez. Whoa, 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 you can't get me. You can't get me. I'm too fast. <laughs> too fast, dude. Okay, they're all shooting now. Luckily for us, I got a grenade launcher. Hey, everybody. Heads up. Kaboom. Oh, beautiful. Another grenade in there. Nice. <laughs> hey, what do you think you're doing? There's so many people up here. And they all have guns. Still looking for me. Maybe I can sneak into one of these offices. Yes, there's a computer in there. Can I? Yes, beautiful. Okay, go, 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 go. Now, time to edit some details. Let's see. What have we got? Enter username and password. I don't... Ah, uh, my days. I don't have one. Okay, right. That's it. I need to find a username and password. You! Excuse me, can I can I have your username and password, please? I just I just need to uh to log into the computer. Okay, I took him out. That was a bit too far. Um, we're gonna need to find someone else then. Is anyone else? Oh, jeez. Is anyone alive? Anybody? I just just need some details, just some credentials. Oh yes, there is! <laughs> Yay! Hey, mister, can I can I get your ID and password? Yeah. No! Oh, great. You've always gotta be the hero. Fine, I'll find somebody else. Whoa, the grenade launcher really did some damage. All right, we got another guy. Hey, man, can I get your username and password, please? I promise I'll let you live if you give me your username and password. No, no, never. Oh, why does everyone have to be the hero? Whoa, this is terrible. Is anyone alive? What about in here? The tech office. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. There's got to be somebody in here. I don't believe, I just don't believe that this would be... Oh, here we go. Yeah, like I said, it wouldn't be empty. No way. Hey, man, what's your name? My name's Billy. Billy Jones. All right, okay. Thanks for the name. Now, what's your password? Oh, um, my password is Billy FIB. Really? That's your... That's such a bad password. That's your name and where you work. All right, these guys need some updates on how to make a better password. <laughs> Thanks, Billy, anyway. Can't afford for anyone to leave, so sorry I did lie to you. <laughs> yeah. Let's go and change some details, shall we? All right, let's take a look. I got Billy Jones. Now, let's do this. Uh, change my name to Fred Clintwood. That's a cool name, Franklin. And we keep the initials. Job title, uh, Chief of Police. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now we're talking. No one's gonna come after me now. Uh, wealth. Ah, there we go. They banned it and they marked it with sus. I understand, you know, they can't physically print a million dollars, but that's what I am. That's what I'm due. So I'll be taking that money back. <laughs> I think that's just about everything. Oh, of course, clear everything I've done. Make sure I'm an innocent civilian again. I got a clean slate. Well, now I've done that. The only thing left to do is enter. Money request sent to bank. No, 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 no. That's not how it works. I'm at the FIB. You kidding me? So everything's updated apart from the money. The request has gone to the bank and they are straight I'm gonna deny that. All right, you know where we gotta go to next. I'm going to the bank. And since I'm chief of police, technically no one's gonna question me or come after me. There's only one way to find out if what I've done has actually worked. This is a pretty nice ride. Don't mind if I do. Looks pretty fast too. In Bonte, Phoenix. I am this close to becoming a McGillionaire again. All I gotta do is press a button in the bank. That's literally it. And then I can live my life exactly how I dreamed. Here it is. The good old Pacific Standard bank. The main one. Oh, sorry, ma'am. Chief of police. I can't help it. I'm a terrible driver. <laughs> She's really angry with me. All right, let's just go and rob this bank. Hey, 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 hey. Almost ran me over. Wow, she does not care. All right, crashing into her car was a mistake. All right, let's do this. Hey, everybody. Sorry to say this. This is a bit of a hold up, but it's all right. All I gotta do is make sure someone authorizes the payment request, which I know they're not gonna do. Sorry, guys. I need to become a McGillionaire, and right now, nothing else matters. Hey, where do you think you're going to? I can't afford anyone to run outside and tell people what's going on. That would be dreadful. No. Oh, you had to do it. You had to press the button. Oh, wait, the police are calling me. Uh, hello? Hey, Fred. Um, there's a robbery at the bank. Oh, no, no, no. I'm there. I'm there. There's, there's no robbery. It's just me. Set off some alarms. Well, we're gonna have to check it out anyway. Yeah, okay. They can check it out. That's cool. <laughs> Don't really care. <laughs> yeah, they'll see I'm here and yeah, they'll realize it was just chief of police. All right, let's break through this gate. Guys, if you're not gonna grant permission, then I'm gonna have to go through there myself. <sighs> Really gonna make me do this then. Which one of you four is gonna authorize permission? Is it gonna be you? Nope. <laughs> what about this guy? Nope. There's two people left. You could both survive. All you gotta do is authorize that payment request. Yes, my guy's on it. He, he's on it. Yes. I actually got the money. Thank you so much. I'm a McGillionaire again. You know what that means? I can build my house upgrade. Finally. Hey, guys. So thanks for waiting. I got a million dollars. Listen, can we get the upgrade going now? Here, take the money. I'm the chief of police. No one can stop me this time. <laughs> sure, come back in uh, three days. Wait, did I, did I hear you right? 
three days. If you had seen the amount of trouble I went through, and now you're telling me three days. No, that's not gonna cut it. Well, you did leave us hanging. So now, I suppose you're right. Wouldn't it be nice doing that? Is there anything I can do? Come on, we can make it up. You've been able to build things in hours, in minutes. Okay, let's do this. Uh, tell them to like the video. Them? Uh, oh, wait, he's talking about you. Uh, so how many likes do you want? I want a McGillion. Uh, okay, a McGillion is, is a bit a bit too many. I don't think we're going to get a McGillion. Be realistic now. Uh, okay, about 20,000. 20,000 likes. We get that on almost every single video. So let's make sure we smash that on this one. <laughs> yeah. Please, everyone right now, smash like on the video. Can we get this to 20,000 likes? Not just in like a week, but let's get it to 20,000 likes now. Okay, come back in three hours. Great. That was an easy compromise. Thanks, guys. You're the best. I wonder how many likes we got. I really hope we got more than 20,000. They really make my day. Anyway, I got three hours to do whatever I want. And there's so many things I want to do. What does Michael want, though? Uh... Hey, Mike, what's up? Yo, want to catch a sea monster with me? What? How do you know about this? Everyone's trying to get it, bro. I want to find Bill. Hey, Michael, I'm there. Tell me where to go to. I want to catch this monster. This is turning out to be a really awesome day. Let's go check it out. Whoa, he wasn't kidding. There's so many people searching for this monster. <laughs> Mike, I came as fast as I could. I'm ready to catch this monster. What kind of monster is this? I don't know, Frank, but it's big, and it pays five mil if we get it. Well, you know what that means, Michael. It means we got to get it. You got a boat? Yeah, I go around the corner. Hey, you grab yourself some gear. It's in the shop. All right, I'll go and grab some gear. <laughs> Looks like we're going to need it then. This is awesome. I can't wait to catch this monster. It's been ages since I've caught a sea monster. All right, now it's all. I can check it out, guys. I got my flippers, got my oxygen tank. <laughs> We're gonna be just fine. Hey, come on. Hop in. All right, give me a second, Michael. Just on my way. Hey, what are you doing? Come in. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying. I, I, gotta, I gotta swim, though, dude. I gotta get wet. Come on, it's gonna be freezing in there. No, come on. It's warm, I promise. All right, okay, let's go in. What is it? Oh, my days. It's freezing. <laughs> you lied to me. Get on this boat, Franklin. Come on, we're gonna be in the sea for a while. So, any idea where that monster is? I got a sonar device. It'll beep when we go over something. Like just now. Well, it's probably a rock. So, if it beeps faster, then it means we go over something. And if something goes under us, it's gonna beep really fast and then suddenly really slow. It's actually pretty good deck. Yeah, not many boats have that. That's why all the idiots are over there. The sea monster ain't over there at all. Oh, I like your thinking, Michael. I like your thinking. So, where do you think the sea monster is? Well, I got reports. It's um, about a mile away from here. I'll take you there. All right, Michael, just take me there. I am so excited to find this monster. Anywhere around here is good. I saw a splash this morning. Wow, that's actually kind of freaky to know the sea monster was here. How far out are we? Okay, we're pretty far out. Far enough to have no way back if this monster tries to eat us. Oh my days. Wait, did you hear that, guys? It just increased. Something went underneath us. Hey, Mike, did you hear that too? Yeah, I heard that. All right. Hey, hold on to something. Wait, what do you mean, hold on to something? What are you talking about? Oh my days. It just beeped again. Dude, it's it, it's swimming underneath us. Hey, Frank, go check it out. Are you serious? Wait, why me? Uh, you swim faster. Oh, great. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Looks like I'll be the one risking my life. Why does this boat have to shake so much? It's literally making me seasick, dude. So I'm pretty confident the sea monster is like swimming underneath us. It just did a loop for no reason at all. Here goes nothing. Hello, monster, are you down here? Oh, hey, little fishies. How are you doing? I'm <laughs> just swimming away, babbity babbity. Oh, oh, my days, dude, there it is. There's the monster. Oh, Jesus, it's literally right there. Quick, get me up, Michael, get me up. Oh. We're gonna need a bigger boat. It's literally down there, dude. Uh, Mike, we got a problem. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's get him. You're right, Michael. Let's get him. Uh, screw you, shark. Get him. It's literally a megalodon shark. These things aren't even meant to exist. Oh, no. He's making a dart for the ship. No, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Ah, oh, my days. He's literally knocked the ship over. Yes, we're fine. We're fine. It's still here. Now, there's this guy. He's not dead yet. Oh, jeez. Watch out, Franklin. Okay, run this way. Run this way. Oh. Oh, no, don't go in the water. How are you so flexible? Wait, have I got him? I've got the shark. <laughs> yes! We're alive! I have no idea. Wait, Michael, is Michael alive? Mike? Yeah, Michael, Michael's not alive. Um, that's all right, actually. I'm just gonna phone Trevor, get a rescue person, get me out of here, take this shark to the beach. I never thought I would be so happy to see Trevor. Well, this is exciting. Let's get it out of here. And that is how you catch a sea monster. Franklin, we did a smashing job. <laughs> Shame Michael isn't here to see it, but I just made five million bucks. Amazing. Well, that was a really fun activity.
easy, but since my house is almost upgraded, there's just a few things left to do on the list. I still need to buy a nice ride, and the only place in town where they got nice cars is Simeon's store. So, what have you got for me, Simeon? These better be nice cars. Oh, hang on a second. I think he has got nice rides. For once, he's actually got good things in. A golden Ferrari F80. Rumor has it, it's solid gold. The rarest Lamborghini in the world. And oh my days, one of a kind supercar. One of the fastest in the world and it's gold plated. McLaren. Hey, Simeon, how much for the cars? Well, I'll tell you straight. One million dollars for this one and two million dollars for the other two. So five million dollars for all the rides. That's ideal. I just made five million. Simeon, I'll buy all of them. Whoa, whoa, hang on, this is my friend. You can't buy all of them. No, 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 no. You need to do job for me first. That's not how it works, Simeon. You gave me the price. I don't care. But do, do job for me or get out store. All right, then. I really would like these cars. What is it you want me to do? My nephew went rogue. He stole a car from me. It's a really nice one. I want it back. Your nephew went rogue. Hmm, I wonder why that could be. It's not like he's the most annoying person in the world. Do you want a car or not? Uh, you're really annoying me. Yes, yes, I want a car, Simeon. I want a car. I'll go and get your nephew. <laughs> my car, not my nephew. I don't care about him. Fine, I'll get your car, Simeon. I'll get your car. Really? This is a really weird family. <laughs> One day, he loves his nephew. The next day, they're literally arch enemies. This is where the nephew went to. Now, let's get this car. No more funny business. I need a nice ride to go with my house upgrade. And hello, hello. This is definitely gonna do. Hey, Sasha, um, I need this car back. So, give me the car or prepare to die. Yep, that's right. Wriggle out from under the car. Get on your knees. Come on, step away. Give me the keys. <laughs> I should have never trusted my uncle. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's why you ran away, right? Anyway, it doesn't matter. I need this car. It's mine. <laughs> Thanks, man. This is amazing. How much is this car worth by any chance? $20 million. It's worth more than anything he's ever had. Wow, this actually puts the others to shame. It's huge. And how this is just one seat is beyond me. You know what? I don't even need the cars in Simeon's store. I think I'll just take this. <laughs> oh, I'll I'll leave the cars in there. I can't drive three at one time. I'll be completely happy in this ride. It's amazing. It's completely electric. It looks like the wheels are huge, but they're really not that big. And it's got one light bar at the back. The spoilers are like underneath another spoiler. It's so unique. Look at the front. It's like I'm driving a car on top of a car or like a boat on a car. This is such a weird but awesome design. I have no idea what this is. I'm not getting too much information other than this guy's face on my steering wheel who looks <laughs> very interesting. Other than that, though, it's a pretty nice car. It's gold, and it's gonna look so nice with my house. And speaking of which, guess who that is? It's the builders! Hey, is my house done? Oh yeah, it's ready. Uh, pull up to your place when you're ready. I'll be there. Don't worry, I'll be there in three seconds. <laughs> I can't wait to see what they've done to the place. It's gotta be awesome. It's gotta be. I gave them a million dollars. Are you ready to see the upgrade? Are you ready? I can't wait to see what it is, dude. Uh, guys, this house looks the same. Why is there a helicopter outside? Uh, yes, I'm Franklin Clinton. That is me. I am not the Franklin people claim to talk about. Okay, get in the helicopter. All right, that's cool. It looks like I'm being chauffeured to my brand new upgrade. <laughs> well, we can wave goodbye to this house. Let's see the next one. So, where, where do we go to, buddy? Uh, okay, we're just gonna go higher. That's literally it. <laughs> we're not going forward, backwards. We're just going higher. What is happening up there, dude? Can someone please give me some clues? No, actually, I want it to be a surprise. Don't tell me the answer. We'll get there when we get there. <laughs> yeah. Guys, I'm really high up now. I can barely see land. The airport is down there. This is crazy. Wait, what is that? What? <laughs> what is this, dude? This looks much bigger than the heli carrier I've seen before. What have they given me this time? I literally don't even know what this is. <laughs> Are you kidding me? This looks like something from Star Wars. I'm not even kidding. Okay, we land on the helipad. Uh, is that really a helipad? That thing up there? That's where we're going to. So I have arrived on top of this humongous machine. Wait, I oh my days. I can fly this thing? What? I have my own flying house. That's how it's meant to be done. There's missiles on this thing. There's lasers. <laughs> There's actual lasers. I am totally elevated. I can see everything around me. And these giant pointy. I have a feeling are like incinerators. This is pretty awesome, but I want to check out the rooms. I want to see what it looks like on the inside. I got my own kitchen. I got my own space. This is lovely. I could get used to this. <laughs> All right, this is one of the rooms. This is gonna be where I'm sleeping. I'm telling you that now. I got my own office, my own kitchen, my own lounge. 
There's even a staircase and it goes upstairs. This is insane. I can't believe they gave me this. Walk-in wardrobe. There's my bedroom. Amazing view. And this is my bathroom. Not quite a fan of the tiles, but I'm sure we can find another room similar. Whoop, whoop. How are we doing today? Oscar Roberts here. Vlogging daily again. Three days in a row. We've done a lot this morning. Danced on our bed. Eaten all the food from the fridge. And had three different chocolate muffins. And now we're heading off to school. LOL. It's gonna be boring. Hashtag exam fail. I haven't even revised for my test today. But maybe if you smash like on this video, we can still pass. Do you want us to pass the exam? It's down to you. Uh-oh. Look who's here. It's Oscar's mom. Hey, mom. Smile for YouTube. We're vlogging. <laughs> Turn that thing off. I don't want to be in your boring videos. And why aren't you in school? Uh, mom, come on. I was vlogging. We were starting a YouTube channel. Oh, you always got to ruin the fun. How dare you rate the fridge, drink 20 different sodas this morning, and still use my phone to record your stupid YouTube videos. You know what, Oscar? Give me your phone and you're grounded for two months and you can't use your phone for the rest of the year. Uh, oh, come on. Why have you got to do that to me? Guys, grounded for two months and I can't even use my phone for an entire year? Hey, that's not cool. I have three subscribers and they expect me to film videos. Fine. You know what? I will go to school. But mark my words, I will not come back here again. I will find somebody who appreciates my talent for what it is. You know what? Since we're not even going back home, I'm not even going to school. We're going to have an adventure today, Oscar. We're going to do something more exciting, and we're going to earn money, and we're going to actually live our own life full of independence and stuff which only we want to do. If we want to drink 20 cans of soda, we can. And if we want to raid the fridge and eat three muffins every morning, we can do that as well. And if we want to film vlogs, we can also do that. So, first things first, I I need to find a phone. That way, I can record everything I do and get more subscribers. Digital Den. It should be around here, guys. This is where we usually get our phones repaired. Oh, that, oh no! It's closed! What are we gonna do now, buddy? Oh, man. Why is it closed today? <sighs> I tried. I tried. But now we're in the middle of Los Santos. I don't have a phone, and I've just got my bike with me. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do something really naughty. And I'm taking somebody else's phone. Let's take your phone. <laughs> Thank you very much. Grab her phone. Yes, I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. Oh, no. She's chasing me now. Ma'am, sorry. <laughs> I don't want to hurt you. I just wanted your phone. Uh-oh. She... Ah! <laughs> she is not happy. Ow! You're kicking a kid. What are you doing? She is not happy that I just stole her phone, guys. Right. I'm gonna take her all the way out here, and then we're going to run back to the bike. No! Go, go, go! Ow! <laughs> We need to get out of here fast, Oscar, before she hands us into the police. Go, 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 go. Ha, 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 sucker. <laughs> Guys, I have taken her. Oh, it's pink. Are you kidding me? I didn't want a pink phone. Ugh, fine. I'll keep it, guys. But now we've got a phone to vlog with. We can vlog and go on our bike. Oh, she's still chasing me. Go, go, go. <laughs> sorry. Very sorry. Do, 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 do. So far, I've got a recording of a really nice car. And I've got a recording of the really angry lady chasing me. This is gonna be a really funny montage by the end of the day. And random. And random. Hmm. I wonder if they will enjoy it. Oh, well. Doesn't matter to me. Da -da -da. Whoa! Iron Man, where did you come from? Hey, uh, kid. I saw what you did. That wasn't very nice. I demand you hand the phone back to the lovely lady. Uh-oh. Iron Man's here and he's demanding I hand the phone back to the lovely lady. Where even is she anyway? Oh, she's over there. Do I have to? Yes. Or else I will make you. Uh, I'm sorry I took your phone, ma'am. Here, you can have it back. I don't like the color pink anyway. Here you go. Sorry for all the trouble I've caused you. Now, why are you here and why do I have to follow you? I've been keeping a close eye on you, worried about what may happen. Since you ran away, I feared you could get lost on the streets and never found again. I am here to protect you and adopt you and take you under my wing. I won't let anything bad happen to you. And if you do as I say, I will give you your own custom Iron Man suit. Now, follow me. Whoa! Guys, this is amazing! Iron Man is literally taking me under his wing. To be honest, this isn't much of a punishment. We get to swap our parents with Iron Man! The one and only! <laughs> I'll follow you, buddy. Let's go! No way! Iron Man has his own house, guys! And it's massive! He's got this island with a drive going into it. Hey, Iron Man, this is a way better house than my parents. <laughs> I never want to go back at all! How big is the actual... 
That is a big house. Hang on. Can I see supercars as well? This is so cool. Where's Tony gone? Tony? Tony? Iron Man? Where is he gone? He's got a helicopter as well. Guys, look at these amazing supercars. Oh my days. They look amazing, dude. <laughs> McLaren, Lamborghinis, and those as well. Hey, I want to go down into the drive. Let's go down here, guys. What is he working on? Yo, there's even more cars down here. I want that one. The hot rods. The one with the flames. That's so cool. Ooh, those machines look intimidating. Um, what am I even on? Are these solar panels? What is that, dude? This is so weird. Oh my days. He's got other suits as well that he's working on. And there's more down there too. Oh my days. I want that suit. The one with the flames on? Imagine if at the end of the video, I get that suit. Could you imagine? All right, let's take a look through what is going on here. Hello? Who is this guy? Uh, Iron Man. <laughs> This is so weird. Welcome. This is my house. Make yourself at home. There's plenty of spare bedroom and there's food in the fridge. Only healthy food. Tomorrow, we will head into Los Santos. Get some rest. It's been a long day. Cool. Okay. <laughs> I get to use his house as if it's my own house. Very well, Iron Man. I will. I don't know why I'm getting this much treatment. I don't know why he's taking me under his wing, but I am not complaining, guys. A superhero has adopted me. So, mm -mm. I don't care. Listen, kid. Today is going to get messy. There's somebody bad on the streets and we need to take out. I've been watching you and I think you're capable enough of helping me out. However, you're going to need a suit. Pick your suit now. Ooh, this sounds exciting. I get to choose any of these Iron Man suits, but today is going to be very dangerous. Listen to me, Oscar. Choose wisely. We don't want to go for anything which has too many weak spots. It already rules out that one. I can already see plenty of areas where you could get through the armor. Now, I do love this one. This was my favorite suit. What about that one? It looks a bit grumpy to me. How about this one? Hey, it looks kind of similar to Iron Man's already, and I don't want to be mistaken for him, and that one doesn't look as cool as this one. Iron Man, I want to go for this suit. This is my final choice. Wait, why can't I shoot? It's not letting me shoot anything. Uh, Tony, I think there's a bug going on in my suit. Ah, I forgot to mention. I did add child lock and you are a child. When I think it's necessary, I will let you use every feature of your suit. Until then, be patient and follow my back. So, according to Iron Man, someone really bad is in Los Santos and I have been called in, yes me, have been called in to help Iron Man out and save the day. <laughs> Who do you reckon it's gonna be? Tony, can I, please let me use my rockets. I want to do those cool things. <gasps> yes! He enabled rockets, guys! Right, let's go and get a move. I got wings? Are you kidding me? This is so cool. Come on, Tony. Let's go. So, we're heading to Los Santos because somebody really bad is in Los Santos who needs dealing with. <gasps> it's Thanos. You seriously think I can destroy Thanos with Iron Man? Hey, Iron Man, you got the wrong person. My name is Thanos and this world is for the taking. Step aside, Iron Man. Wait, have you got an accomplice? Are you teaching kids now? <laughs> Step aside, old man. Retire. Get out of here. This world is mine. Hey, Iron Man, are we taking that from Thanos or are we destroying him? Oh, we're definitely destroying him, all right. Thanos, you're going down. How dare you think you can take out me and the other Iron Man? I've got the hot rod boots. Now, let's see. Where is he? Thanos, there he is. Get him. Get him. Yes, he's enabled all of my features. We got him. Come on, keep using the laser. Don't worry, Tony. Whoa, Thanos is not happy about this. Wait, where did he go? Where did he go? Thanos, not cool. How did you end up over there? Tony, are you okay? Uh-oh. Oh, my days. He's shooting me out of the sky. Yes, yes, yes. Keep it up. We actually did a pretty big damage to him. <laughs> go, 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 go. Yes. Oh, my days. He threw a car at me. This is insane. <laughs> Come on, Thanos. Give it up. You're not taking the universe today. Oh, my days. It's actually worked. Iron Man, we've done it. He's no more. Thanos, screw you. <laughs> Uh-oh. We got a massive wanted level. All right, Tony, let's deal with them. Guys, we got so many police trying to take us out. And we're doing this a different way this time. We're actually going for the police guys. Hey, maybe they're corrupt officers and they work for Thanos. Oh, look at my fist. Bam! <laughs> this is 
insane. Hey, Tony, these things are crazy. Look at what comes out of my back. Uh-oh, there's still some more officers around, guys. I'm gonna help them out as much as I can. We have four stars, Tony. We can't hold them off forever, and I don't want to be most wanted. Are we done now, Iron Man? Is that everybody? Oh, my days. He's going for the helicopter. Not the helicopter. Seriously? Man, Thanos had so many people working for him. And that is the end of that, guys. All of the corrupt officers are down. We've taken them all out. The only ones left are the ones who are good officers. The ones who will protect us. And the ones who don't work for Thanos. Apart from this guy in the helicopter. <laughs> Apart from these two. <laughs> okay, I'll get this guy as well. Boom! And now, that's everybody. Come on, Tony. Let's get out of here. What a crazy day that was. We destroyed Thanos and every officer working for him. Now the entire city is rid of Thanos. Guys, we have been on a crazy adventure. The richest man has landed. And it's my job to protect him. Get ready for the shots. Huh? What's that? Oh, no. That looks like bad guys to me. I need to stop this. Hey, get down. Get down. Ah! Ah! Oh, they shot me! Are we dead right now? I can't see a thing! Franklin, talk to me! Where am I? The hospital? Oh, yes, I'm alive! <laughs> and who is this guy? You're a hero! How would you like to work for us? Work for you? Hey, what kind of things do you get up to, huh? I don't want to just take any old job. We protect the elite class! You can count me in. Suddenly, I feel strong again! It's not like we took a sniper to the back. <laughs> I mean, how long have I been out for anyway? Seven hours! Seven hours? Yep, that's enough for me to recover. I'm basically Superman. <laughs> you should rest for three weeks weeks at least. Shut up, doctor. Don't tell me what to do. I know what I'm doing and I'm working for this guy. This sounds awesome. <laughs> Welcome aboard. Your car is waiting for you. My car? I got a car? Hey, I want to check out this car. Let's go outside and find out what we got. This is awesome. I have joined the bodyguard service of the elite class. Can you imagine the kind of people I got to protect? I can't wait to see what we do. But this is my car. Wow. It's an armored limousine and the number plate lit Judy says, protect. That is awesome. Hey, let's get inside and uh, get to our first job. I mean, I'm ready to go. I've signed on with this guy and we're going to become the best bodyguard in the universe. Oh, would you look at that? He's calling me right now. Hey, boss, what's up? First assignments, escort this musician to the airport. To the airport? Okie dokie. That sounds easy enough. Send me the address. I'll be there as quick as I can. Amazing. I got to escort a musician to the airport. That sounds pretty easy and simple. I don't understand why he needs a bodyguard guard for this, but I'll happily protect him in my armored limousine. This has to be the strongest car in GTA 5. Maybe we'll put it to the test later, or someone else will put it to the test for us. This is where he lives? This is a mansion. Right, let's buzz ourselves in. <clears throat> okay, gotta introduce myself. Uh, hello, this is your bodyguard. I've come to pick you up. Come upstairs, bro. I'm in my studio. Oh, the studio. Okay, well, uh, open the gate, buddy. I'll be right there. This is so cool, dude. I'm just picking up some random guy. For all I know, he could be the most famous in the entire universe. Thank you. Opening the gate for me. How nice of him. I could literally be anyone right now. I could literally be someone to take him out. But uh, luckily, I'm not. But this guy clearly needs protection. He can't just have a house like this and let anyone inside. Good job we're protecting him. He doesn't realize it, but this is the best of the best. Let's go inside. That was easy. Yeah, anyone could break into this house. <sighs> this guy's really playing a risky. Now his studio. Yep, it's upstairs. I can hear it. That's really loud. Oh, my days. <laughs> Whoa, there's some pretty good beats, though. Okay, right. Uh, mister, I'm on a tight schedule. I'm here to take you. Oh, my days. He's still making music? Come on. Bro, come on. We gotta go. Get you to the airport. I'll be one second. I'm in the zone. <sighs> in the zone. Well, that's fine. I guess I can chill out here. We'll just uh, take a seat, drink some champagne. Actually, no, we're on, we're on duty, Franklin. Don't drink champagne. <laughs> I'll just be waiting here. This is so stressful. Why am I protecting this guy? He doesn't even want the protection. Look at him. He's just jamming. Completely clueless to the fact that people out there might want to get him. Come on, bro. Let's go. Oh, we're going? Okay, let's go. My car's right outside. Why don't we take a supercar? They're much nicer. Supercar? To oh, my days. No, there's no protection with these. There's not even a roof. You're getting in this one. It's part of the service. We do this with every client. Get inside. Thank you. That wasn't so hard. Your life is worth more than a supercar, okay? Come on. We are not driving one of those to the airport. So, you seen anything crazy? Well, I suppose I did just uh, take a bullet yesterday for the richest guy in the universe. Anything crazier than that? Wait, no, bro. That, that's literally it. This guy. This dude. He literally doesn't care. You know what? I'll just be quiet. I'll, I'll put the music on. You can chill out and enjoy your life, okay? I don't want anything to do with this guy. My job is to protect him and get him to the 
airport. Hey, bro, I think somebody's following us. Wait, you reckon? Let me take a... Oh, wait a second. They think you might be right. Let's break. Oh, yeah. Okay, we got our first little classic enemy. Well, little does he know, you got the best bodyguard in town. What do we do, man? I'm scared. Hey, don't be, don't be scared, man. Come on. I know exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna take him out. These guys won't even expect a thing. I got a few stickies. We'll just throw one backwards and boom. <laughs> Almost. Ah! Oh, oh, geez, they're getting closer. Okay, let's just... There we go. Hey, bro, they're shooting us now. Oh, yeah, they are. They are. They really... Oh, my days. They're trying to shoot us still. Let's just throw a few of those stickies down. Come on. Blow the car up. Jeez, this is way trickier than I thought. Ah, nice. Got him. Phew. See, they didn't even get through the glass. That's why you have an armored car instead of a supercar. You would be dead if we used a supercar. Well, you really know what you're doing. Of course I do. I'm a bodyguard. I'm the best in the universe. Now, let's get you to the airport. Phew. Would you look at that? First mission, success. We made it to the airport, we took away some enemies, and this guy is still in one piece. Thanks for what you did back there. That's all right. Are you going to take me a bit more seriously now? Because I need it. When we got to go on time, I say we got to go on time. Thanks again. Here's your money. $100,000 just for driving him to the airport? Wow. We're going to make so much money today. Thank you very much. If you need my services again, just uh, give me a call. I'm only one phone call away. Now you fly safe and have a good day. My job is done. <laughs> we just got a $100,000 thousand dollars for protecting that guy. How much more money are we gonna make today? Now, what do they want this time? Hello? I'm available again. New job. Protect the president. What? The president? Yes. Got a problem? No, no, no. No problem. No problem. That's my job. Protect the elite class. Let's go and protect the president. And that's why the color blue is not my favorite color. The president is making a speech. This is a prime time for anyone to sabotage him and ruin the day. The police are here. The SWAT are here. Even the military are here. But do not fear because the bodyguard, Franklin Clinton, is here to save the day. He even went bold for this job. That's how much he wants to be a bodyguard. Bodyguard. Afternoon, officers. Guess what? My job is cooler than yours. <laughs> All right, there he is. I'm gonna chill right next to the screen, just out of camera, making sure I can see every single person. Mm hmm Okay, don't try any funny business. We're watching you. The whole military's here, and so is the bodyguard service. Now time for my final piece. The part you've all been waiting for. Big turnout for this. Oh, I wonder what he's about to announce. I will use the desert for one dirt bike experience, and Montana shall only be open to those who own a horse. How are you gonna control that, man? Only with a horse? Wait, wait, what? Okay, none of my business. I'm a bodyguard. I'm a bodyguard. What else is he gonna say this time, huh? This is so random. I've never heard a president say these kind of things. And I will ban Coca-Cola. <gasps> No, you can't do that? Seriously? Oh my days. Yeah, even the crowd is booing at him a little bit. Mostly cheering. What? You can't ban Coca-Cola. That, that, that's just not right. Wait a second. Guys, did you see that? That was an explosion. Okay, everyone, we need to get down. We need to get down. Mr. President, I'm here to protect you. Don't worry, just go around the back of the observatory. Okie dokie, what is going on? The bodyguards seem to have found someone. What are you shooting at? Oh my days, imposter police and bodyguards from the military? Wow, you guys are not getting past me. If you want to get to the president, you got to try yourself. His whole protection was corrupt. This is insane. It's a good job they got my service. Without me, this president wouldn't stand a chance. Oh no, you don't, dude. I can't believe this. I've never witnessed anything as bad as this. You think you can take down the president? Well, guess what? You can't. Ladies and gentlemen, please go home. I'm gonna find the president. Don't worry. He's gonna be fine. He better be fine. He's my client, and I did protect him after all. I just hope no one's found him yet. Mr. President, are you okay? <gasps> Wait a minute, what's going on? Hey, put the gun down! Tell me your secrets! No, you will never find out! Ugh, got him! Oh, boy, Mr. President, it's safe to come out now. Every single enemy has been taken care of. Who would have thought everybody was the imposter this time? Not just one person, everyone! Thanks, you really saved me out there. Don't even mention it. But if you want to return the favor, don't ban Coca-Cola. You got it. Thanks, you're the best. Right, with the president rescued, that's a job done. Let's get you back to your safe house. What a mess. I know, right? What a mess. You're gonna have to pick a new security team. I don't think your choice is
things are working out for you. Well, looks like this is your safe house. Don't worry, I can keep a secret. And I know you guys can too. Press like on the video if you're willing to keep this location a secret. Thanks, Frank. Hey, do you fancy working for me? I would love to, but I'm enjoying this job so much. Maybe another day. There's always a place on the Secret Service for you. Oh, man, you're the best. Well, have a good day now. 250,000? He just gave me enough money to buy an entire house. He's a legend. <laughs> wow. Well, I guess that's what you get for saving the president's life. And that was no easy save. Wait, wait a second. Why am I here? Where am I? I have no idea where this is. I'm on a tropical island. This must be really far from home. Oh, now you're giving me a cool... What is it? Hey, what's the deal? One of our clients has been kidnapped. Rescue him. But where, where could he be? That... This island is huge! Oh, wow! I, I got a trekker! Approximately two kilometers away. That's quite a trek. We need to find a vehicle. Perfect. I found a car. That'll do. And... <gasps> Watch out, Franklin. There is a watchtower. And I think I can see somebody in there. Three, two, one. All right, I got him. That was smooth. That was easy. So they've kidnapped one of their clients. We can't trust anyone on this island. If they have a gun, if they look suspicious, they're going down. I have no idea where I am right now. This is so scary. We're getting really close to our clients. It's beeping faster and faster. Wait a minute. I think I can see them. Down to the lighthouse. Do you see that? Let's get a little bit closer. Oh, man, this does doesn't look good. There's a lot of people there. Okay, we don't want to get too close. The last thing I want to do is alert them. Let's take a look. Oh, boy. Wait a minute. That's our guy from earlier. Oh, man, he must have got in the plane and landed here and got kidnapped. Are you kidding me? He's the most naive musician I've ever come across. What do they want with him anyway? All you have to do is make a song about us and we'll let you go. I don't sell my creativity. Are you prepared to die for it? Well... Wait a minute, gentlemen. I'm sure we can figure something out. Uh, uh, I'm not willing to die. No, 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 definitely not that. Then make a song about us. Uh, how did I get in this mess? This is the weirdest kidnapping I've ever seen. And we're going to make sure this is done smoothly. There's like 10 of them there. And if I end up taking one of them out, he could die. So I'm going to use a minigun for this. And we're going to sneak around this rock and go right to the side of them. Take them all out. And then they won't have a choice but to retaliate. This should just... Just about do it. Uh, we gotta be careful. Looking good. No one's seen me yet. There's two guards there. Don't need to worry about them just yet. All I need to do is make sure our client survives. This is so risky, dude. I don't want to screw this up. Are you gonna make a song or what? Uh, what kind of song do you want? I don't know. Uh, like a nursery rhyme. Oh, these guys have no idea what they want. Right, that's it. Hey, <laughs> gentlemen. Looks like you came to the wrong place. <laughs> the party started. Oh, that was so easy. Every single single bad guy is dead. Apart from him, now they're dead. All right, beautiful. Hey, anyone alive? Anyone? Go on, show yourself. I dare you. Can I come out now? Yes, you can come out now. It's safe. I just saved you twice today. Thanks. I really thought I was gonna die. Well, don't worry. You're safe with us. Now, let's get off this island. I would like to stay, actually. This was my holiday. What? Are you... Right, if I have to save this guy again, I'm gonna send somebody else, because this guy just wants to get caught. Thanks for everything. Here's some more money. Another hundred grand? All right, you know what? I'll, I'll have happily save this guy. <laughs> yeah. Over and over and over again, if he pays me a hundred grand each time, better phone this in and tell the boss the client has been saved. Hey boss, the client's being rescued. He's safe and sound. Great job. Return to HQ. There's a HQ? No way. I didn't realize there was a HQ. Uh, let's go check it out. This is the bodyguard HQ. Can you believe it? It's inside a cave in a mountain. I actually can't wait to check this place out. This is crazy. Now I know why they call it HQ. And now I know why we're a very important bodyguard service. We are hidden literally underground. <laughs> Oh my days, this is crazy. What? There's a secret door in here? Yo, go through the door, Franklin. I want to check this place out. Wow, look at this. There's rocks everywhere. There's an underground base. This is like an entire house. Wow. And there he is, the one and only, my boss. Well, this is a pretty awesome HQ, man. I, I love what you've done with the place. Got some artwork, even got a teddy bear. Wow. Yo, this is awesome. And what are in those files? Do not touch. Do not throw out. Do not... Okay, lots of important information, I suppose. 
suppose. <laughs> Concentrate! Yes, sir, I'm concentrating. What do you need me to do? Frank, we need you more than ever. Really? What kind of mission are you sending me on now? Drive the commander of the military to the Sandy Shores airfield. Why can't the military do that? I mean, he's got an entire army. They can't be trusted. Oh, wow, this sounds pretty bad. The commander of the military is working for an army where they can't even be trusted. Okay, right, let's do this, Franklin. I'm nervous. This could be a pretty big job. So the commander is inside that tower. I gotta pick him up at the bottom and drive him to the Sandy Shores airfield. It's not even a long drive. I'm sure it'll be fine. This is making me seriously nervous, though. Uh, it might be us versus the military at this rate. Okay, commander, I'm outside. Let's beep the horn. Come on, buddy. Come on, get in the car. Here he is. Oh, go on, go on. Okay, you wanna take the passenger seat? That's cool. You can chill in the passenger seat with me. Take me to the Sandy Shores airfield. Quick! Yep, you got it, commander. You got it. I am driving the commander of the entire military. Did you have to go through the fence? Yes, I did, mister. Come on, this is serious stuff. You're making this out like the whole army hates you. Well, they, they do. I don't think all of them do. Those guys seem pretty disciplined. They're corrupt. Trust me. Okay, I'm trusting you, so let's just get to the airfield, all right? I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Me too, mister. Me too. And you know what? This seems pretty good. I'm not seeing too much. No chaos, nothing suspicious. And this is a pretty fast car after all. I reckon you'll be fine. So, you got any plans today? You gonna see some family? Have some dinner or something? Oh, what are you gonna have for dinner? Can you focus, please? Yeah, okay, I'll focus. I'll focus. Let's get to the airfield. Right, let's take a look around. Is anything? Oh, my days. Wait a second. Is that a tank? They found us. You gotta do something. Okay, let me think about this. Uh, we can figure something out. They're shooting us. Oh, my days. They are shooting the car, dude. They put a hole in the window. Are you kidding me? Stop it. Stop it. Come on. Oh, my days. I gotta go up against a tank now. Are you kidding me? Right, that's it. This guy is not gonna take us down. There's gotta be something I can do on this car. Oh, wait a second. Weapons activated. Weapons activated. I wasn't told about this. Let's see what we activated. This is a pretty cool car if I got what I think we got. Oh my days. <laughs> we got rockets. Not so powerful now, huh? Right, we dealt with the tank. Wow, that was impressive. Yeah, I know my stuff. Don't worry. Now let's get to the airfield. One tank isn't gonna stop us. Hey, uh, uh Frank, uh, there's some tanks behind us. Tanks? Another one? One? Wait a minute, two? Oh my days. Okay, there's more than just one tank this time. Right, that's it. Let's take these guys out again. Do a little off-road track mission. Da -da 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 -da. I hope I got enough rockets for this. Where did he go? There he is. Get him! Get him! Hey, Mr. Tank, where do you think you're going to, huh? No one screws with the commander of the military. <laughs> oh, that was super duper easy. And this guy? Oh, come on. Where do you think you're going to, huh? Rest assured, mister, no tank is gonna be bothering you anymore. Watch out! Up ahead! Get ready, boys! And fire! Oh boy. Okay. They got mini guns, but that's okay. We're just gonna go straight through them. Da! Da! Oh! Are you okay? Okay, the commander's all right. That's fine. Keep driving. I'm driving. I'm driving. I'm driving. These guys really hate you, huh? They want me dead. Yeah, I can see that, man. Why? That doesn't make any sense. Somebody's paying them, but it's none of my business. Clearly. Right, that's it. I'm making a shortcut, and we're taking you the fast way to the airfield. Straight over this hill. That must be your plane. Right, let's get into the plane. He's getting out of here, and that's my job done. This is too stressful. My car is ruined. We're lucky to be alive. Thanks, Frank. Take some money. I'm getting out of here. And I won't come back until this is sorted. Calling into Area 51. I'm on my way. We'll be waiting for you, boss. Great. <sighs> I'm glad my job is done. Wait a minute. Is he crashing down? No. 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 He's crashing. We better go to the crash site. I can't believe it. He crashed the plane. Oh, would you look who it is? Somebody arrived late to the party. Well, guess what? You are not going to the crash site. I gotta beat him there. But first, let's destroy him. I can't believe this. I got him in the plane safe and sound and he crashed into a mountain. Somebody must have tampered with the plane. And now he's really far away. Closer to the military base than here. Franklin, we better drive quickly. Requesting evac. Requesting evac now. It looks like I'm first on sight, unless they've already beaten me to it. Is he still in there? Oh, I really hope he is. Come on, Commander, I'm here to rescue you! Oh, no. No, 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 he's passed out! Right, Franklin, we're picking him up. You are getting in my car. I'm taking you to HQ. You'll be safe there. <sighs> Get him in the car, Franklin. Get him in the car. Time to get out of here. HQ, here we come. Oh, no. The military have arrived. You guys just don't give up, huh? You don't give up. Ugh. Get out of my way. <laughs> drive, 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 drive. Oh, my days. This is so intense. Ah, uh, uh, wh why can't I feel my legs? Hey, just uh, sit tight, man. You're in a plane crash. But don't worry. I'm going to get you to safety. Almost. Almost. Oh. Oh, amazing. We made it to HQ. We should have come here from the beginning. 
Hey, boss! I didn't have a choice but to bring him back here! I did get him to the plane, but they shot it down! He crashed. Is this okay? <laughs> Please don't find me for this. Don't worry! You saved him! Oh, phew! He understands. Well, he should be safe for now, right? No one knows about this place. It's top secret! And has the best security! You'll be fine here! Fantastic. Well, I've had enough drama for the day, so I'm ending the episode to you guys. We are about to rob every single dollar in the entire GTA 5 universe. Everyone you know, your money, your friend's money, literally every single dollar there is. How are we going to do this? Well, I've marked out every single bank. There's several different banks. It's gonna be tricky, but if we manage to rob all of them, then everyone's going to be left bankrupt. They will have to sell their houses, they will have to sell their cars, and guess what, guys? No one's gonna be able to buy them apart from us because we're gonna be the only person with the money. If you want to wish Franklin good luck on this very sneaky and slightly evil mission, I won't lie to you, then press like on this video. And if you subscribe to the channel, you automatically become a legend. So get subscribing. So the first bank we're going to is right down this road. There it is. Can you see it, guys? The green sign sticking out. Fleeker Bank, there you are. I can't wait to do this, dude. We're beginning the robbery. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Let me just check. We got enough items. Fantastic. Franklin, listen to me. You're gonna do great. Once we start this robbery, there is no going back. Begin the robbery. Let's go. Loading heist. Shoot the cameras. Fleeker Bank number four. Afternoon tellers. I'm looking very suspicious, I know. Right, everyone on the ground. This is a robbery. Gotta shoot the cameras. Oh, jeez. Okay, one, two, three, four. There's one more round here. I know exactly where they are. I've seen the blueprints. Five. Okay, now we need to intimidate the tellers. D Franklin, get through the door. <laughs> Why is this so difficult? Get through the door. Right. I need one of you to open the vault door. Who is it gonna be? Is it gonna be you? Or is it gonna be the blonde lady? I think it's gonna be the blonde lady. Come on. Come on. I will shoot. I will shoot. Oh, my days. We have three stars. We can Come on, do it. It's not that difficult. Spin the wheel. Thank you very much. There we go. <laughs> We can't leave any witnesses, guys. Let's go into the vault. Looks like they got something very precious behind this box. Oh, this is so difficult, dude. Stop overheating, please. Right, let's just... Careful, careful. Here we go. This is it. This is it. Keep on drilling, Franklin. One more bolt to go and we're in. It's always a mystery when we open boxes. I never know what it's gonna be. I've opened it. $387 million. <laughs> Hey, ma'am, thank you very much. All right, let's get out of here, Franklin. We got three stars. This is one of six banks. We can do better. $387 million. So that's like 10% of the value of every single dollar in Los Santos. Let's be honest. Uh-oh, the police have arrived. So don't worry about it, guys. I have the perfect hideaway location where the police definitely won't be able to get me. I mean, I'm a pro at this. Ah, they will never find me in here, Franklin. Fantastic. Did we burst any tires? We didn't even burst a tire, dude. And that was the easiest escape ever. Ladies and gentlemen, I have passed the heist. Potential take, $5 million. Actual take, with my intel knowledge and knowing where the very valuable stuff is, $387 million. That's almost 100 times what the potential take was. Fleek of bank. Shoot the cameras. Let's go. Oh, jeez. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, after all, you were in my way, buddy. One more camera. One more camera. One more camera. It's just through here. Get it, get it, get it, Franklin. Get it, get it. Okay, nice. Intimidate the tellers. Excuse me. This is the second bank. Give me the money. I expect at least half a billion dollars from this one. Are you gonna open it up? Oh, baby. There's the gold. <laughs> My man. Yo, guys, we're making a billion dollars from this take. We've just got $469 million from that stack of gold. How much are we getting on this one, Franklin? Let's see. Uh, 700 million, guys. We have now officially made a billion dollars and we've only robbed two banks. We're gonna be the wealthiest we've ever been, Franklin. This is gonna be insane. Thank you very much. I'll be leaving. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <sighs> Hey guys, come on, catch up. You will never catch up with Franklin. And down we go, out of their way. They will never find me down here, guys. I could go. No, we've already lost them. We've already lost them. <laughs> that was the easiest escape ever, dude. Potential take $5 million. On the day I chose, with all the intel I had, eight. 179 million big ones! According to my intel, we should make at least over 100 times the potential taken this bank, guys. You know how much money that is? That's at least half a billion dollars. Right, Franklin, let's get hacking, dude. S-H-A-R-K shark card. Oh, no! Dude, I screwed that up! S- H-A-R-K-R-D. Shark card. There we go. <laughs> open the door. This one's open. We've got more gold bars. Beautiful. Are we going to get another $800 million? It looks like it, guys. Oh, it looks like it. <laughs> 
200, 300, 300, 400 million. I think we're going to make the exact same amount of money, guys. Look at that. Looks like they stocked up the exact same amount of gold. Thank you very much. I'll be getting out of here now. Hold up. I think the police have arrived. Where are they? Oh, dear. Guys, they're literally right outside. Franklin, get in the car. Get in the car. Get in the car. Get in the car, Franklin. In the car now. Go, go, go. They're breaking through the windows. Uh-oh. This armor is beginning to fail me, guys. Don't worry. I can still do this. We're going down into the underground. And for once, I'm ditching my car. They're definitely going to have an ID on this, guys. Come on. It's robbed three banks over $2 billion. Yeah, they're going to see it everywhere. There is no way I can drive in that anymore. Let's go, Franklin. Let's go down into the underground. Let's do this. Is anyone hiding down here? Please, please be alone. Oh, yes. There's no one down here, guys. Right into the tunnels we go. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, they will never find us down here. Franklin, you're smashing this. Bam. Heist passed. Potential take. Go on. Tell, tell me the potential take. Is it five million? It's five million, isn't it? Oh, it's five million dollars. Actual take. A good old 840 million big ones. I don't believe this. This is too good to be true. I have robbed so much money. You know what? I think hacking the door was actually way quicker. I might do that. Sorry, Tellers. I won't be needing you. Uh, oh, man. It's bulletproof. Come on. Gimme, 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 gimme. Come on. Let me hack the door. Jeez. There we go. I'm hacking the door. M C H I L. What is this word going to say? Oh, it's it's M Chiliad. M Chiliad. Got it. Okay. Fantastic. We're in. That's too much money per pile. <laughs> hey, I don't believe it, dude. Oh, my days. We we just we just banked almost 700 million big ones on cash. No way. And we got the gold. This might get us to a billion dollars in one take, dude. 800? No way. We're gonna take a billion. We're taking a billion. We're taking a billion. <laughs> Oh my goodness! 1.1 billion dollars! Franklin, you're smashing this. Dude, if they catch me with a billion dollars on me, we're going to jail, and there is no way they're letting me out of there. Not for a million years. Oh, jeez. Okay, drive. I know the perfect getaway route. Turn down here, Franklin, into the garage. Beautiful. All right, I'm in. Quickly, into the back of the garage. You're not following me down here. Just around the corner. Fantastic. And then drive around here. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. That IQ move? <laughs> they will never suspect a thing. And now I get to drive away into the sunset. Actually, I think I might play it a bit safer, guys. I'm going to drive down this alleyway. And we've passed already, guys. Potential take. Another five mil. Actual take. Show me. Show me the billion. We've taken so much money. Begin the robbery. Let's go. <laughs> Dude, this is actually crazy. Okay, begin, begin. What if I just go for the tellers? Do you reckon that's possible? Can we, can we just... Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me. Can I just hack the vault door? No, okay. I'm shooting the cameras. Right, camera's down. Let's get the tellers. Right, ma'am. I won't be needing you. And I won't be needing you either. Let's hack the door. Go, 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 go. Cash, 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 cash. That's what I want to see. How much per pile, though? $62 million a pile. $62 million for every pile of cash we take. I don't understand how we're making that much money, but we are, guys. Do you reckon we could do a better take in this heist than the other one? I think there's potential here, guys. We got $800 million so far. Let's, let's see. Just beautiful. $1.286 billion dollars. Let's get out of here, Franklin. We're already losing the ones level. Go, 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 go. Quick, last person in the car. Go, 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 go. That was close. For a second, I thought we were going in. I am not quitting this far ahead, guys. I have taken 80% of the money in the entire world. I am not, I am not getting caught right now. I need to locate the getaway route. It's a bit less traditional, this one, guys. There should be a submarine right around here. Ditch the car. Fantastic. Where's the submarine? There it is. There it is. <laughs> Hey. Oh, Franklin, that looks kind of painful, buddy. I'm so glad this is still here and no one took it, dude. Get underwater. We've already lost the police already, guys. Oh, jeez. Helicopter right there. All right, drive, 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 drive in the water and we are hidden away. As long as we get under those weeds, no one is going to be able to spot us, guys. Nobody. We've just lost the wanted level. Amazing. Just amazing. Guys, we have made about $5 billion now. 80% of the money in the entire universe. What a day, Franklin. Come on one more bank left. We're going to clean out the money of every single resident in Sandy Shores. Oh, jeez. Guys, better get down to the ground. This is a robbery. Don't forget that. Withdraw what you can because I'm about to take every single dollar. Right, where are the tellers? Where are they? Tellers? I don't need you guys. <laughs> Seriously, I don't need any of you. One billion big ones. Right, Franklin, let's go. I can't believe this. I now have accumulated every single dollar in the GTA universe, guys. <laughs> every single dollar. Go, 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 go. And what's that? There's no... Oh, there's one sheriff car. 
one guy, one sheriff. Looks like he's gonna have to do a little bit better next time. I don't think they'll be bothering us anytime soon. I can't believe it, dude. Franklin, look at me. We now have every single dollar in the GTA 5 universe. Guys, what would you do if you had all the money in the world? Seriously. Let me know in the comments. Would you buy a house? Would you give money to your friends and family? Would you get a supercar? What would you do? We passed the heist. We've lost the one to level. Give me the dollar. Franklin, this was the craziest plan we have ever done together. I don't believe this. So what we're gonna do now is buy some supercars, get some hair as well. We could do a changing our appearance, probably for the best, and sleep on it. I wanna see how Los Santos reacts to this little uh, wake up cool. Well, Franklin, I love the suit. And we've got some supercars out back. But what I wanna do most is drive them around Los Santos. It's been awfully quiet this morning. I haven't really heard much going on. I've heard a little bit of shouting, a couple of people screaming. Hey, there's someone screaming right now. Uh, but not really a lot going on. Look, there's no one driving around, guys. Someone's in a plane. We got one person in a plane. I'll be buying that in a minute, guys. But we have every single dollar in the universe. People can't even buy food. Shops might be closed down. Guys, I need to check this out. So which car do we take? Lamborghini? Lamborghini? Bugatti? Lamborghini? Or Lamborghini? Ooh, hold up, guys. I'm a bit torn here. I'm gonna go for the Lamborghini convertible. This looks nice. Right, let's take this for a spin and see what Los Santos is all about. Oh, look, we got our first for sale sign. Foreclosure! They can't even afford their mortgage. This is insane, dude. Another for sale sign. Poor guys. Poor guys. Everyone's having to sell their houses. Look, another one. Hey, do you reckon Michael is selling his house? He is! Everyone's selling their houses. No way. Hey, Michael, sorry about this, buddy. I mean, you shouldn't have been banking with Fleeker Bank. I want to go and pay him a visit, guys. Hey, Michael. Michael, I'm here to buy your house. Oh, dear. Hey, Amanda, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> the money's gone. Doesn't Michael have like a stash of money somewhere? It's something he would do. Now there's no money in the world. There's no police force because no one is there to pay the police. There's no military base because nobody is there to pay the military. There is no anything, guys. No nothing. We can literally do whatever we want to. So speaking of which, I may as well buy the entire city. I reckon we could get a pretty good deal. I've bought Los Santos for $10 million. Ka-ching, ka-ching. Vespucci Beach, Pier, and Fairgrounds, $10,000. Luxury yachts. Two dollars. Hey, let me show you this yacht. Oh, by the way, I paid somebody three dollars to fly my car across to the yacht. And then I bought the helicopter for another four dollars. I bought Los Santos. I bought a luxury yacht. And we bought a ton of supercars. And we're gonna buy so much more. But until then, I'm ending the episode here. This is my kind of place. And what an incredible 24 hours it has been. All right, Michael, I want you to look at me. And I want... Oh, yeah, that, that's good. That's serious. All right, and I want you to do that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, we're celebrating tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Millionaire Michael here. Oh, yeah. Oh, guys, come on. Come on. Come on, everybody. <laughs> Michael, my man! Let's just say we won the lottery. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been an amazing afternoon. Michael now has a stash of cash and... What was that noise? Michael, you did... You, you did throw off the police, didn't you? I think they might be outside. Uh, what do I do? There's dollar bills everywhere. We can't hide this. Okay, I need to go downstairs and try and convince the police not to come inside the house. If they see the cash, then we're going straight to jail, everybody. Afternoon, officers. What a lovely day it is today. Oh, they look pretty serious. <sighs> So, uh, what, what's all this about then? You believe I'm linked to a robbery? No, 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 they're, they're, they're literally arresting me. Oh, jeez. We gotta figure this out, dude. Did leave a car in the garage? Uh, oh, no, 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 no. The rooftop. But let's go to the roof. Let's go to the roof. We're gonna sneak out. Oh, jeez. They're banging at the door, guys. They're trying to come in. Let's go through here. Nice. Okay. Oh, ooh. They don't know we're here yet. Did Tracy leave her car outside? Tracy, you be Oh, yes. Fantastic. All right, quick. Go. <laughs> go. Go, Michael. All right, in the car. Uh, see you later, everybody. Just going for my Sunday drive. Uh, Michael, I'll be back in a second. Just getting some shopping. Oh, yes. I think that actually worked. Are you kidding me? Uh, uh, dude, my... I thought that was flawless. Uh, okay, they, they, they didn't quite... They didn't quite fall for that, guys. And then now we have five stars. Okay, don't worry. I know just the place to escape to. We'll go in the tunnel, hide in the sewers, and we'll be A-OK. -okay. Oh, no, what about the money? It's just lying there on the bed. Oh, they're definitely gonna take that away. Oh, oh, watch out for the cars. They're coming left, right, and center. Oh, this is stressful, Michael. Don't worry. I'll get you out of here in... It, it, oh, 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 watch out! Oh no! Oh jeez. Oh my days. Guys, they put like a spike strip down. We're gonna have to change cars. Okay, there's a car right there. We'll grab that car and get out of here. <laughs> no! Michael, come on! Oh man, I tried everything, but it looks like we're going to jail. Hey guys, if I had a dollar for every single time we escaped the prison, we would be rich. They will never keep me in here. <laughs> never! 
whatever I tell you. We'll be out of here in no time. All I need is a spoon, and then we can start digging. And then before they know it, we'll have a hole going all the way towards Michael's house, and we'll be entering straight through the lounge. Don't you worry, everybody. I've got this completely under control. Just act normal, Michael. Let's do everything they tell us to do so they don't get suspicious. They will never keep me in here. Never keep me in here. Not in a million years. Oh, hang on. They're talking on the radio. You have been awarded the sentence of 100 days. 100 days. 100 days? They're keeping me in here for 100 days. Michael. <laughs> Don't worry, buddy. I'm not keeping you in here for a hundred days. Before you know it, we'll be in a tunnel and out of here. Hello, officer. Are you here to tell me where my cell is? Yes. All right. It's on the middle floor. Look for the door that's open. Okie dokie. I'll find it now. Where's the door? Oh, there's the door. So this must be my cell. Right, let's take a look. I hope we have a window. <laughs> that really helps. Oh, great. There's no window. This is just a concrete room. Well, at least we got the shades, Michael. We're looking cool, even though we're in prison. Well, we may as well get some rest, Michael. We're gonna need it. Right, my tummy is grumbling. I really hope the prison food's nice. Hey, what do you guys think? Bacon and eggs for morning or uh, a bowl of slop. Let's find out. Oh, there's a massive queue. I don't like queues. Oh, man, how have they got their food already? And is that guy okay? He doesn't look good at all. Uh, medic? Hello? Anybody? Oh, man, I really don't feel safe in here. We gotta get out quickly, Michael. It's already the second day and, and we haven't even eaten yet. Great. Oh, yes, it's my turn. Uh, 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 I've got 10 seconds. Okay, banana, orange, apple, bagel, soda, um, burger, and sandwich. Can I get a spoon with that as well, please? Is that okay? Oh, coming up. Fantastic. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Hey, guys, prison food isn't actually that bad. I thought we would get slop this morning, but I have a fresh baguette with lettuce in and vegetables and salad and a giant soda. But we'll let that slide for now. I'm in prison. I, I gotta feel sorry for myself some way or another. And they gave me a pot of beans, and they are delicious. You know what, Michael? Who needs to escape when you get served food like this every single day? They only serve meals like this once a month. Wait, what do they serve on usual days? Oh, you're, no, you're messing with me. You're, me you're messing with me. You're, nah, 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 he's definitely messing with me. Wait, uh, who said that? Oh, come on. Okay, maybe we, maybe, it, maybe it's a lucky morning. Who knows, okay? You enjoy your burger, and I'll enjoy my sandwich. Well, that wasn't bad. My tummy is full of plenty of food, and I got the secret tool we need to escape. A spoon. <clears throat> I do apologize if there's any beans in there still. Uh, we did eat the beans with the spoon, but I got a spoon. It doesn't matter. Let's uh, take a little look behind us. The guard isn't looking at me. He's been distracted by the person on the guitar for the entire night, and he's still watching him. Oh, fantastic. Right, I'm gonna start digging, and let's build this tunnel. And just like that, voila, we got a tunnel. If we decide to go into this and then remove the blocks. Oh, look at that, guys. There is literally an escape escape route down there. As long as the guard doesn't find this, then we can escape. I just need to pick the right moment. And you know what? I think this might be the right moment. Let's do this, Michael. Go! Shh! Don't tell anyone. I can trust you, right? We're in the underground system below the prison, and they have this amazing mine track. It's awesome! And this, it's almost as if somebody else built this tunnel, which we just connected to. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I've got five stars. What's going on? They've noticed I've escaped already. Okay, we better get moving now, Michael, or else... Oh, no. No. Are you kidding me? How did you know? How did they know? Michael, we're going back into prison. We have been caught, buddy. Oh, no. They put me in solitary confinement. I'm by myself, and they didn't even tell me how long I would be in here for. I'm sorry, buddy, but uh, we don't have a choice in this. They've locked the door. Oh, man. Well, I guess this is what happens if you try and escape. They will punish you, and they punished us badly. All right, the only thing we can try and do, Michael, is not go insane. Can you do that for me? It's going to be tough, but I think we can ride this out. Can you press like on this video just to help us out a bit more? Oh, Michael, have you not showered in 10 days? Did they at least feed you? You're looking terrible. Oh, man. And he's grown a beard and his hair's a bit longer. Oh, yes, someone's opened. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Are we getting out of here now? Yes, I am. Brilliant. All right, Michael, next time we try and escape, let's be a bit more clever about it. There we go. That's my man. See, you're feeling better already. And maybe if you're lucky, we can have a shave as well. We'll just have to see what they say. Da -ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba -ba Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Guys, we've spent almost two weeks in the prison and still we haven't escaped. Let me think of a plan, Michael. Don't worry. We're not going to do a tunnel. We'll do something else this time. And it's going to be way higher in IQ. Don't worry, Michael. I'll figure something out. Good job for Michael, he 
Wait, they're, they're talking to me on the radio. Okay, it looks like we've got a job this time. We're working in the laundry room. You think you can do that, Michael? I think he can. All right, let's go to the laundry room. Yeah, we're definitely cleaned up now. Let's go. See? This doesn't look too bad at all. We got washing machines? Uh, yeah, okay, buddy, what are you doing in there? Uh, maybe I'll have to clean that out in a second. Um, we got another washing machine, though. Is this one empty? Oh, we've already got a wash on. Fantastic. There's prison clothes and there's police outfits in there. <gasps> oh, there's some clean stuff over here. Police hats, police shoes, police shirts. Ooh, guys, I'm beginning to get an idea. Okay, Michael, let's think about this. What if we take a police uniform and then simply walk out of the prison. No way will they catch us then. I want them to believe in doing the job properly. So let's spend the day doing the laundry and earning their trust. Well, would you look at that, Michael? We've washed all of those outfits over there. There's got to be at least 20 different sets of outfits. That, that's gonna, that, I mean, that's gonna get me some points, right? Uh, yeah, great job. Thank you. Oh, man, I'm so glad I'm doing this job correctly. That's just one day of work to earning their trust. All right, Michael, let's come back here tomorrow, and tomorrow's gonna be the day where we dress up as a police officer and sneak out of here. You know what, Michael? I don't need breakfast this morning. We're just gonna go straight to our job. I wanna show them that, you know, I really care about this laundry job. You know, the best thing we can do is earn their trust so they no longer supervise us and leave us alone so we can get changed into a police outfit. Shh, they have no idea. Okay, you have a good day now, sir. Thank you very much. Go and get some food. Yes, this is it. This is my chance. All right, Michael, let's see. Police outfit, police uniform. Du -du -du. Uh, yes, 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 everything's here. Hey, guys, what do you think of my new outfit? Uh, well, one second, don't forget the most important feature, the police hat. They'll never suspect a thing. All right, let's get out of here, guys. Oh, my days, that person seems a bit suspicious. Okay, let's just carry on walking. Carry on walk. Why is that guy running towards me? I'm a police officer on duty. I'm doing a prison inspection. You better be chasing after an actual criminal because uh, last time I checked... I definitely am not one of them. Definitely not. 100%. Is he follow- Oh, he's following me. Oh, my days. This doesn't look good. What on earth does that guy want? Act normal. Hey, hey. Well, hey, what are you doing? Okay, guys, I'm taking matters in my own hand. Ow! Oh, come on! He caught on straight away. Man. Oh, man. We're gonna be in solitary confinement for even longer now, Michael. Just hang on in there. It's gonna be okay. Man, everything's black and white as well. What's going on? No, no, no don't, don't leave me here for 30 30 days? That's an entire month! Oh my day, it's gonna be a long month. Michael, we can do this together. 1,342. 1,343. 1,344. 1,344. 1,344. Oh, Michael, we've, oh, we lost count. I don't even know what day it is, dude. Do you know what day it is? Wait, they're, they're unlocking the door. Oh, yes. Oh, finally. Yes, can I get out now? Is it 30 days? Yes, 30 days have passed. Oh, I'm so glad to be out of here. Michael's grown a beard. He's grown a beard. Do you understand? Okay, and they've got a job for me as well. Fantastic. I'll do whatever. Uh, uh, not the toilets, though. Oh, man, this is not what I signed up for. But at least we're going to get clean doing this. It's something to do, Michael. Better than solitary. How long have we even spent in the prison? It's got to be coming up to 50 days now. Clean as a whistle. Now, let's go on to the next one. Oh, no, 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 someone else could do this. Go I swallowed a fly. Oh, oh, Michael. <laughs> oh, I'm getting out of here, dude. Oh, my days. No. Wait, what's, what's the... Can you hear that, guys? There's a siren going off. Did I do something wrong? Was I... Oh, that doesn't sound good. Can you... I can hear firing. Hello, what's going on? Oh, oh, geez, they've got a gun. They're shooting. Run, run, Michael, run, 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 run. What is happening? What is happening to the prison? The guards are going crazy. Uh, what are you doing to that guy? No, leave. What? What? Okay, I'm going to go back inside. Does anyone know what's happening? Suddenly, there's the lots of shooting going on. Guys, I think this might be a prison riot. Okay, Michael, we're not going to our cell. Uh, I, I, I need to find somewhere to hide. So we need to get out of here, dude. They're going to be bringing in SWAT and everything before we know it. Okay, let's see. There's got to be somewhere to hide. Oh my days, they're literally taking down staff members. <gasps> okay, keep on running, keep on running. Somewhere to hide, somewhere to hide. <laughs> no, no, not that, not that. In the bush, in the bush, go in the bush. Hey, excuse me, I'm gonna need that. Give me what you're holding. Did we get it? No, he's still, get him, get him, take him out, Michael. I'm doing this for survival, guys, don't judge me. Is he down? Okay, nice, I can defend myself. Okay, I'm gonna hide right here. I'll stay here for as long as it takes for the riot to go away. 
Amanda, you don't understand. There was a riot here a few weeks ago, and I, I need to get out of here. Is there nothing you can do? Like, anything? Seriously, it's not safe in here. I've tried to escape twice, twice now, and we still couldn't get out of here. You've got an idea? Fantastic. There's a mail van which enters the prison every two weeks. Oh, man, I recognize that van. It came in yesterday. Man, okay, so in two weeks' time, you just have to sneak into this van, and it will drive me out of the prison. That's a genius idea. Okay, it's been two weeks, and apparently the van should be there. So let's go and check it out. I did see this last time, and it usually parks just around here. There it is! On my date! It's actually here, and the doors are open! <laughs> yeah, Amanda was right! Is anyone around? Uh... We're good. Okay, let's get in quickly. Now, all I need to do is wait for the driver, keep very quiet, and don't move. And then we'll be out of the prison. Hey, Michael, can you just lift your knee down? You're poking the box a little bit. Hey, guys, we're moving. We're moving. <laughs> he has no idea. Where are we going to end up? Please take me to a car park. This could be it. I have been in prison for so long. <laughs> oh, we're stopping. That was kind of short. Okay, the moment of truth. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Oh, we're still in... Oh, my days. Be careful, it's a bit heavy. Yeah, no way, because I'm in here, dude. Oh, man. Amanda forgot to tell me that this was the last stop. I thought he was going to deliver this one outside the prison. Oh, well, they're going to get a funny surprise. May as well get it over with. You'll never take me in. You'll never take me in. <laughs> Run. Wait, I've got this. I just remembered. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right, we're getting out of here, guys. I spent way too long in this prison. We're going. Let's go! Ah, they're shooting! Alright, I think it's this guy. They're on the other side of the fence. It's okay. All right. Ah, they're shooting me again! Alright, come on. Come on, we can do this. Alright, I'm gonna have to use this. I must have picked it up from one of the officers. Alright, he's done. Let's keep on moving, Michael. We're not going back into prison. We've been in here for like 90 days! <laughs> come on! No, oh, it's not even opening! Oh, man! Well, Michael, it was a good run. Let's go back to solitary, shall we? Hey, uh, Michael. How you doing there, buddy? You coping well? What, what are you doing? What is he doing? Whoa. whoa. <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? Oh, hang on. Oh, yes. I think that's the end of my sentence. Michael, we can go. Well, Michael, you need a shave and a haircut. But first, let's get you out of here. You deserve to go back home, eat whatever you want to eat, and have an amazing rest. I'm moving to another country, thousands of miles away, and one of the richest places on this planet. My bags are packed, the plane's on the runaway, and Dubai, here we come. But there's only one thing left to do. I'm bringing Chop with me. I wouldn't leave him here, guys. Oh, no, he's staring at the wall. It is really early in the morning. Something tells me he knows we're moving. Hey, Chop, you're gonna love this new place. It's Dubai. There's supercars, luxury buildings, so many crazy things. Get in my car and let's go to the plane. <laughs> This is gonna be crazy. Dubai is known for being one of the richest places in the universe. With golden cars down the road, this is my kind of paradise. We're gonna have so much fun. Isn't that right, Chop? Okay, let's go. Ah! Yeah, that really hurts. Did my car explode? Where am I? Uh, whoa. Hey, fellas. Chop, calm down. Calm down, dude. What do you want with me? I was just on my way to go to Dubai. You owe me some money. I'm really sorry about that, mister. How much money do I uh, owe you? Ten million bucks. Ten million dollars? That's crazy. I didn't take ten million dollars from anyone recently. Ten million dollars in 12 hours or your dog gets it. What? 12 hours? Ten million dollars? Oh, my days. I don't think I've got much of a choice. Count yourself in for a deal man. I'll find this money for you. All right. Okay. This isn't too bad. It's only $10 million. We've done crazier things in the past. I've literally made trillions of dollars in 12 hours. Oh, man. Simeon wants me. Frank! I have a job for you. A job for me? All right. You're not gonna say anything else then. Right. Let's go and see what Simeon wants. I came as fast as I could, Simeon. I don't have a car. After all, it did blow up earlier today. Fingers crossed he still has a job for me. I really need this money, and I've wasted a lot of time getting here. And by the way, you won't believe this. I'm being followed. This guy has literally put one of his men on me. If they even suspect a thing, then I'm going down and so is Chop. I just wanted to go to Dubai. Hey, Simeon, I'm being followed, so if you see anything suspicious, just ignore it, alright? Simeon, I need a lot of money quickly. You got a job for me? My friend, of course I do. Hijack the truck and bring it back to me. But be careful, this is highly dangerous and very, very explosive. Don't screw this up. Don't screw this up? Nah, I reckon we'll be fine. Get them, Franklin! <laughs> alright, that's 
one guy down. Screw you. I just need the truck in the middle. Come on. Come on. He's gonna come around here at some point. Oh, no. I think they're hiding behind the cliff. There he is. All right. Don't let him escape. If we get all of these guys, then we can get the truck. And nice. I think I've got the convoy. Now, don't let the truck escape. Apparently, whatever's inside is highly dangerous and explosive. Okay. Let's get this truck and take it back to Simeon. Excuse me. This is a hold up. Get out of the truck immediately or prepare to die. Oh, man. He's not getting out. Well, in that case, sorry. Bop. Oh, boy. I didn't quite get him. And he's shooting me. Get him, Franklin. Nice. All right. He's down. I got the truck. It's from the Humane Labs. This is heavily armored. Oh, here we go. Simeon's calling me again. Hey, Simeon, what's up? Be careful. Bump the car and you can explode. Really, Simeon? Well, in that case, there's got to be a chemical in this truck. Simeon's going to be so happy when he sees this. And wait a second. The stalker is still there. Hey, buddy. Hope you like what you see. Excellent. Let's see what's inside, shall we? That sounds like an amazing plan, Simeon. What's inside this truck? Inside this vial is enough power to destroy the universe. Five million dollars? Oh, I thought I was getting ten. Well, I'm halfway there, but that doesn't help me. I still need to make another five million dollars if I want to save Chop and get out of this country. Simeon, you don't happen to have any other jobs, do you? Well, there is one more thing, but you're not gonna like it. Oh, no, no, go on, Simeon. I would love to know. Come on, tell me. I think I can handle it. I need a car collecting. It's in a lovely house. The only problem, though, is there's thousands of people around it. This is the house Simeon was talking about, and I can see why he thinks it's a dangerous job now. There's a lot of guards outside, and I don't think I'm gonna get through them very easily. But since I'm on my normal afternoon stroll, of course they won't suspect a thing. <laughs> this is just how I fast walk around Vinewood Hills. Yo, this house is literally for closure. So, how do you want to do this, Franklin? You want to hide behind the tree? Oh, hide behind the wall. Perfect. If I just hide here, sneak around the wall, that's an even better plan. Alright, let's see. I reckon I can climb over that. Can I climb over any of these fences, though? Oh my days. There's guards in the garden. Too? Okay, scratch that plan. There is no way I'm sneaking in. They're gonna see me regardless, which means the only way in is by force. Oh my days, there's so many of them, dude. Oh jeez. Oh, is that all you got? Is that all you got, huh? Come on. Oh, now this is working. This is really tearing them up. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, there's a lot of guards, though. There's a lot of them. And they're in SWAT uniform. These guys are fully armored, and they're not even getting a shot on me. Dude, they're around the perimeter. They're outside the house. They're inside the house. They're everywhere. There's even someone up there. What are you throwing up there, dude? All right. I'm moving in. We're storming the house now. Here we go. Right, I think there's everyone. And this is a beautiful house, by the way. Sorry to, you know, mess things up a little bit. But here's the car. It looks like a very nice ride. Jump inside. Simeon is gonna be so happy when he sees this. But I wonder how much money he's gonna pay me for this. A million dollars? Two? Maybe three million dollars? Who knows? This is kind of nice to drive around. I mean, for a second, I'm beginning to forget the fact that I gotta make ten million dollars for some really evil guy who's got chop hostage at my house. Not a single scratch. He's gonna be so impressed when he sees this. Hey, Simeon, check it out. I got another car for you. What's going on in there? Simeon's been taken hostage. Hey, get away from him. Stop him. <sighs> Oh my day, Simeon, are you okay? Who was that guy? It was nobody! Oh gee, you could at least say thanks for saving you, Simeon. Well, since Mr. Nobody's down on the ground, I guess I saved you in that situation? That's gotta deserve a tip. I had everything under control! You deserve no tip. Two million dollars? Not a single tip? I saved your life, Simeon. Duh, whatever you say. Well, I've made seven million dollars. I'm three million away from making ten million dollars so I can rescue Chop. Michael, wait a second, guys. I think Michael's got some work for me. What do you want, Michael? Let's settle this once and for all. Uh, Michael? Settle? Oh, he hung up on me. Settle, settle what? what? What's going into him? Well, let's go and meet up with Michael then. You think you're a better driver than me? Oh, no. This isn't what it's about, Michael. Come on, dude. Let's make this important. One million dollars to the winner. You want to bet a million dollars on this race, Michael? Are you sure about this, Michael? Yeah. Oh, man. He's really lost it this time. <sighs> okay. Well, this is going to be a very easy million dollars. And once I do this, I'll be two million away from saving Chop. Three, two, one, go! Oh my days, Michael, Michael, how do you do that? Oh jeez, we better go. Quick, Franklin, put the pedal to the metal. There is no way I'm catching up to him. Seriously? Oh wait, hang on a second. I think I am. No, we are catching up. Wait, oh my days, he already won. And he's going straight off the edge. How did he do that? I need to know. Well, a deal's a deal. Here, take my million dollars. I can't believe I entered that race. I just lost a million. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm the better driver. Eh, eh think, Franklin. Think. No more stupid ideas this time. If someone wants to race me, then it's a big no. Lester, on the other hand, he might have a job for me. Hey, Lester, what do you want? Swing by my house. This is important. I 
Les Import uh, Oh jeez, oh man, you guys have got to stop hanging up on me before I know what it is! Lester is the last person I want to meet. He always screws me over! What do you want this time, Lester? There's a big bounty on somebody, and since my muscles ache from all the gym I've done this week, I need you to help me. All the gym you've done? Lester, you haven't been to the gym in ten years, buddy. Say that again and the bounty's on your head. Oh jeez, Lester, this is not what I wanted, okay? Just tell me where this guy is and I'll get the bounty! Remember, you have to burn down the store too! Oh, Oh boy. Right, so I gotta burn down Simeon's store and take Simeon out. Well, that explains why someone was trying to get him earlier. He's gonna get the shock of his life when he finds out I'm the one to get him. <laughs> and apparently, it's quite a big bounty. Am I surprised? Definitely not. This is Simeon we're talking about. The man behind every single missing car in Los Santos. Yeah, sorry about this, Simeon. Gotta get you. Bounty's calling. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> now his store really is on fire. Hey, Lester, you gotta be so happy when you see this. Uh-oh, unknown cooler. What are you doing, eh? You're burning down a store! Um, this this is work. Jeez, that's the guy who, who's at my house right now with shop. Oh, jeez, the fire brigade here. Uh, we better get moving, then. Oh, uh, sorry, guys, just, just one more thing. You, got, you missed a spot. It's over there somewhere. I wonder how much we got from doing that. Three million dollars? Whoa! Hey, Lester, have you got any more jobs? That paid so much! Inside the truck is more gold than you can imagine. Get the gold and bring it back to me. Yeah, Lester, you didn't mention anything about the tanks. How am I gonna get this truck with the tanks there? There's four different tanks, and believe me, they don't look friendly. Oh my days. There is no way I'm getting between the tanks and that truck. And even if I do, we'll be blown to smithereens. I'm just gonna follow them and see where they end up. Oh man, they're so slow. Maybe I can try and overtake them. Where are they going to? They're going to the airport. Get the truck before they arrive. It's important. Oh jeez, Lester, this is crazy. Right, how am I gonna do this? Oh boy. Okay, I suppose there is a bit distance between us and those tanks. Here we go. Oh, my days. No, there's no way. No way I'm doing this. No way! I'm gonna have to figure this out another way. Well, they've arrived at the airport. What are you doing? Whatever happens, don't let them get on the plane! Whoa! Lester, are you talking about this plane? They've left the tanks and loaded the money. Everyone's on the plane. That means there's no tanks to shoot me, which is good, but that plane is about to take off. We better get on that plane quickly! Uh-oh, they were expecting me. Quick, get them, Franklin! Get them! And there's the first stack of cash. No way! No, there's a juggernaut. He's wearing full armor. But no chance for Franklin. <laughs> That's the plane taking off. Hey, Lester, I think the plane's taking off. It is! Get the gold and go! Oh, my days. Lester, I'm doing my best. I'm trying my best. Get the money, Franklin. There's a lot of money. 2.4. Lester, I'm getting so much money! And now for the gold. Oh, I can't forget about the gold, can I? Right, one bar, two bars. Whoa, I'm getting like a million dollars for every bar I get. That is insane. I've just made 50 million dollars. Uh-oh. Okay, I wasn't told I was this high in the sky. We gotta get this thing off the plane. Release the cash. Amazing! I just stole every single dollar from that truck without getting inside the truck. Watch out, Franklin. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Ooh, nice landing. Let's get this cash and pay off our debts. All right, here's the crate. Grab the stack of money, Franklin. How much do we have here? Five million dollars? I just made 57 million. I gotta tell Lester the news. He's gonna be so pleased when I have almost 60 million dollars in my bag. Ah, jeez. Jeez, ow! Goodness! Ah, what just happened? Oh, no, it's you! Oh, Lester's gonna kill me for this! Looks like I just caught a fish. Very funny, mister. Very funny. I'll take your bag from you now. Consider our business done. Oh, you're not even gonna leave me with a penny. That's so mean. I owed you $10 million, not $60 million. This isn't good. I got a five-star wonder level and the police are coming. Here they come. I can't do anything. They shot me. I was this close from paying off my money and going to Dubai. If it wasn't for that guy, I would be there by now. But no, instead, I gotta go to jail. Well, Chop, looks like it's me and you in here. But don't worry, I got an idea. We're gonna find a way out of this place and get to Dubai. Mark my words. Can you cause a distraction for me while I go and find something? Perfect. Chop's gonna cause a distraction. I'm gonna go and find some keys. I've got an idea. If I can get to those towers, then we might just find a way out of this place. I think we're gonna need to get in that building, the manager's office. And to get in the manager's office, I'm gonna need to find a tool to pick lock doors. There's gotta be some cutlery here somewhere, like a fork or a knife or anything. Even this straw will do. Let's get out of this room. I've got a straw. Just bear with me opening this door. And 
Yeah, nice! I can see everything from up here. The whole yard? Wow, and no one knows I'm in here! Now, where's the keys? Where's the keys? Where's the keys? Yes, I found them. Alright, grab the keys. Grab the keys. Nice! Nobody saw anything. Nobody saw anything. I got the keys, and I'm just gonna walk out of this place. Alright, follow me, boy. Follow me. Follow me. We're going into Tower 4. Now I've got the keys. I can open any door in the prison! Oh my days, there's a police car. Watch out, watch out, job, watch out. Don't get caught by the police. There is no way they saw me. No way. That's so close, dude. They almost saw me. They were right in front of me. Get the stairs up. Come on, come on. I'm so close to freedom. We're so close. Here goes nothing. Climb over. Chop. I'm gonna need you to abseil down as well, okay, buddy? Okay, Chop. Now it's your turn. Come on. Nice one. Now we escaped the prison. I can finally go to Dubai. Let's just hope the plane's waiting for us on the runway. We escaped prison. I made $60 million and we got screwed over so many times. But now I'm leaving Los Santos. We're going thousands of miles away and I'm never coming back. Ladies and gentlemen, I will see you in Dubai. There's so many islands. And wait a second, there's a luxury yacht down there. And there's a giant tower here. Hey, I want to fly through this tower. And that's the Burj Khalifa, the tallest tower ever made in the entire world, by the way. Wow, I still haven't made it to the top of the tower. I I'm trying my best, guys. This plane's going to struggle. I don't even think it can. Wait a second, is that what I think it is? There's a football stadium down there and a little downtown. I bet you thought things couldn't get any better, but they just have. <laughs> This is seriously insane. I can't believe I'm driving a police Lamborghini in Dubai. This is the weirdest combination of stuff I've seen so close together, but I'll take it. I'm coming in for a landing. Don't screw this up. And we have arrived. Finally, in Dubai. So that's one of the towers with wind turbines between them. I like that idea. What are those orb towers over there? And the giant Oreo. There's so much to explore. This must be part of downtown. There's houses, buildings, lots of crazy things. And then there's this crazy tower. I mean, I don't even know what to call this one, but it looks pretty cool. Phew, what a crazy day it's been, but I'm glad to have made it to Dubai. Michael's only got one cent to his name, nothing more and nothing less, as if you could get less than that. And I'm gonna try and turn that into a $10 million luxury yacht by strategizing, using my big brain place. Because Michael has the benefit of Jimmy, who is, by the way, addicted to video games, I'm gonna try and do a very simple trade with him. I've only got one cent, and that can't even buy me a slice of pizza. I will give you one penny. All you need to do is give me your bike. No? No, you don't want to do that? I mean, that's fair enough, Jimmy. Now, what if I let you play video games for the entire week? Deal. All right, fantastic. I have just done a deal. There's your penny, Jimmy. <laughs> I have just got Jimmy's bike for just one cent. And now I get to go to my second part of the plan. Michael, we're going to the golf course because I have a feeling we're going to make a lot of money over there. Well, let's go and find some old golf balls. So there's got to be like a couple of just random balls lying around the course. Anything down here, Michael? Oh, yo, I found some golf balls. <laughs> Yes, this actually worked. Oh my days, there's like yellow ones, there's purple ones, there's white ones. Dude, there's so many. And there's even orange golf balls. All right, let's pick some of these up. Let's just get as many as we can. Fill those pockets, Michael. <laughs> Fill the pockets up. There's so many golf balls down here. How much money do you reckon I can like sell these for? One dollar a golf ball? I think that's kind of fair. Hey, would you like to buy some golf balls? I got pink ones, purple ones, white ones. They're pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh my days, they just bought like 10 from me for $10. Thank you. Thanks, guys. All right, you guys are legends. <laughs> I'll go and find someone else. Do you want to buy some golf balls from me? Listen, I got some really nice ones. Hole in one guaranteed. Oh my days, he just bought 50 from me. I just got 50 bucks. Wow, he just bought 50 golf balls. This is actually turning out really well. <laughs> I only have 40 golf balls left and if I can make 100 bucks from them, I'm going to be so, so happy. Oh no, there's some guy just sitting on a bench. Looks like he doesn't have any golf balls to hit with. Hey buddy, listen to me. I got 40 golf balls with your name on them. They're premium, high quality. They've been underground for so long, you're gonna want to get one. Seriously, they're selling fast. He just got 40. I just made a hundred bucks from selling golf balls around the golf course. That is crazy. <laughs> now with a hundred dollars, I'm gonna see if I can rent one of these golf caddies. Hey man, I got a hundred bucks and I really want to rent a golf caddy. How long can I get it for if I give you a hundred bucks? One hundred bucks? Hmm. You get it for like a day. Is that good? A day? That's amazing. I now have a golf caddy for a day. You got yourself a deal. No, don't go for this one, Michael. We want to get like a colorful one, a happy one. That green one, this one looks like a proper golf caddy, okay? Now I've got a golf caddy. I'm going to see if I can give people rides around the golf course. I am literally a taxi service for golfers now. Yo, they're getting in. I've got my first ever customers. Hey, buddy. Do you want to get on? No, okay. Don't want to get on the back. All right, fair enough. See ya. I'll be back. Just means I get paid twice. All right, I'll take you to this whole 
don't you worry, my guy. Now, about the money, you do owe me something. I'm not just giving rides out for free. 20 bucks just for that? That was so easy. And that guy literally ran. <laughs> he was here like 10 seconds after us. All right, thanks, man. That's the easiest 20 bucks ever. Hey, guys, who wants to live for the golf course? Come on, get in, get in, get in, get in the golf caddy. There's only one spot available. And the lovely lady's taking it. Congratulations. Are you just going to drop your coffee? Like, who does that? Are you crazy? All right, I have a feeling she's got loads of money. So let's just drive like really, really well, okay? I'm gonna drive like a good boy. Oh, okay. You wanna go to the other side of the golf course? That's okay. I will take you there now. Hey, guys. Your wife's here. Now, how much are you gonna pay me? Oh, my days. 500 bucks? Just... Jeez. All right, ma'am. If you ever need a lift again, you just let me know. I am more than happy to take you back whenever you need taking back, okay? All right. Fantastic. She... No, what are you doing? That's my golf caddy. That's mine. That's... <laughs> Get out of my golf caddy, ma'am. Come on. That's mine. I'll be stealing my golf caddy. I need this. This is my moneymaker. You know, my business. <laughs> This is actually turning out really, really well. So I'm going to give a few more people lifts. I'm going to make $1,000 or whatever I make today. I am going to see you guys then. Dude, if we make more than $1,000, I'm going to be so happy. Good morning, everyone. I've had a good sleep and I bought my first ever car. It's used. Not going to lie. It's not the best one. I haven't seen it yet, but we're about to take a look at my first purchase. Ladies and gentlemen, I... Why is the door open? Oh, my days. I present to you my first ever purchase. Yes. For $1,500, I have bought this used, damaged car. Oh, my days. It's terrible. Now, here's the deal. I know what you're thinking, guys. Oh, my days. I wasted my money. Yeah, I know. It doesn't look very promising right now. Oh, my days. But look at the back and the wheel. It's missing a tire. Oh, yo, this is such a bad idea, Michael. I do have a plan with this. I'm going to drive this to Simeon and see if he will do any trades with me. After all, it's not in great condition, but Simeon... Simeon owns a car store and he has mechanics with him. So he's going to know how to fix this and sell it on for even more money. Hey, Simeon, I've got a car for you. Can you do a trade? I will literally trade this car with anything. I mean, all of these look nice. <laughs> exactly the best ride, is it? No, I'll admit that, Simeon. You know, but, but it's still a ride at the end of the day. It's got a full tank. That's worth something. And it's still a car. I'm sure you can repair this, right? I mean, what are we thinking? $10,000 repair? Just come on, Simeon. Come on. You gotta cut me a deal. Yeah, okay. I'll do a deal. I'll trade a bike for it. That's the best I'm gonna do. A bike? Let me see how much they're worth, all right? I bought this car for $1,500. How much is a bike worth? I haven't actually checked this yet. I should have probably done some research before. Okay, let's see. $5,000. You know what, Simeon? That is not bad. He's gonna give me a bike, which is gonna be worth at least $5,000. Simeon, you got yourself a deal, my friend. Take this car and give me your bike. There is a pizzeria right on this corner, all the way from Italy. <laughs> Pizza this, my guy. And I'm gonna deliver pizzas for him. Oh, yeah, baby, Check it out. All right, let's see where my first customer is. I have five minutes to deliver these pizzas. And if I don't, then they're going to be complaining and I will probably get sued. So, Michael, don't screw this up, buddy. I never thought we'd see the day. Michael DeSanta, pizza delivery guy. <laughs> I think you're going to do great at this job, Michael. First customer is just around the corner. I've got five pizzas and, whoa, jeez, and terrible driving skills. That's the first customer. All right, get ready for this. I'm going to give him his pizza. Oh, he's been waiting. He's been waiting. What did you get, buddy? Pepperoni pizza or something? Hey, <laughs> Enjoy, my guy. I just got 25 bucks. You know what I think we got to ask ourselves? What's our favorite pizza? Let me know in the comments below. I mean, it's such a big question. I mean, if I had to tell you my favorite pizza, it would vary day to day. This lady, though, she ordered a barbecue pizza. And quite frankly, just get out of here. Who gets barbecue pizza? Okay, you want to get tomato base. I mean, seriously? Are you guys crazy? Well, guys, that wasn't bad. I made, like, almost $2,500, which is still an improvement. We're doing well. I got a $5,000 scooter. We're coming up on $10,000. But it's still nowhere near $10 million. We need to get that luxury yacht, Michael. Remember, that's our goal. How do I go from here to there without breaking the law? It's going to be so tricky. Anyway, I'm going to find a place to sleep. And in the morning, I'm going to re-strategize, try another plan. And hopefully, that one is going to make me a bit more money. Now, I've got a bike and technically an address. A bench on Bench Street. <laughs> yeah. And I've also got some money. I have a feeling we fit the criteria to get a job at the taxi rank. While driving a taxi, become available for jobs by pressing E. Well, uh, don't worry. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> We're gonna become a taxi driver today. Come on, get in. Get in, my guy. <laughs> now, here's the deal. If you don't tip me well, you're not getting off of your destination. I I'm only joking, okay? <laughs> Don't you worry about that. I'm driving like a maniac, not even caring right now. I am going and I'm going and I'm fast, okay? <laughs> yeah. We're getting to that location as far. Oh, jeez, without breaking the law, of course. There's the yellow marker. 
park it up. My guy, have a good day. Now, give me some money. 167. He gave me 22 bucks tips. That's insane. I just made so much money for that mission. Let's do another one. I didn't think being a taxi driver would be this stressful. He's literally, like, telling me to go. Put the pedal to the metal. <laughs> like, if I stop, he shouts at me. I'm not even kidding. All right, see. Make him pay. Make him pay. Oh, my days. I got one of the... Jeez. Come back here, man. You're paying. You're paying, okay? <laughs> pick up the hard-earned money. That's right. I'm gonna pick up that money. No, you don't. Let me get that money. Jeez. People these days. Right, I never want to see your face again. You're stressing me out too much, my guy. All right, I'm gonna do some more missions. I'm spending the day as a taxi driver, and I will see you guys at the end of the day. I've bought a lawnmower. Now, check this out, guys. I'm gonna start a lawn mowing business. It's not like everyone can just buy a lawnmower. I'm gonna send some people on this lawnmower, and they're gonna go around the houses, the lovely people of Los Santos, mowing lawns. And I'm taking a nice 20% of everything they get. This is the wealthiest neighborhood in the entire of Los Santos, and my associates should be meeting me somewhere outside this house. And there he is, my guy George. Can we get a big shout out for George in the comments? Okay, George, you go do your thing, have the lawnmower, and I will see you later, all right? I'm gonna find more ways to make money. Now, with the rest of my money, I purchased this car, the Emperor. It's, uh, it's been through a little bit, but it's worth $10,000. It's rare, it's a collectible, and people love these kind of cars. I hate to break it to you guys, but I sold the bike. So now I've got like a little bit of money in my bank account, and this car, I want to see what I can do in the mechanics workshop, because I have a feeling you can do a lot with this. And voila, check it out. What did I say? Now for a hundred bucks, I have transformed that rusty piece of trash into this radio system. No more rotting seats. I mean, that guy really is a wizard. Check it out, dude. It's the exact same car, but like a million times better. <laughs> this was such a crazy idea. Now let's see how much money I can sell this for at Simeon store. By the way, guys, still making that money on the side. Check it out. 100 bucks, another 100 bucks. I mean, it's coming in. It's <laughs> That guy's mowing lawns quickly. Simeon, I got another car for you, but this time I want you to buy this from me. How much money can you give me for this amazing ride? Let's be honest, it's pretty amazing. I'll give you 20,000 bucks. Take it or leave it. $20,000? Dude, I bought this for 10,000. That's literally double the money. Simeon, you got yourself a deal. Hey, uh, do you reckon I can sell a couple more of these cars to you? Sure thing. How many you got? Oh, I don't know, Simeon. We'll, we'll, we'll find out how many I got soon. <laughs> He's buying every single car I bring to him. Wow, Michael, we have found such a moneymaker. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm not gonna lie. I have traded a lot of cars with Simeon. Simeon, I got another car for you. I'll be careful not to scratch this one. Just being really picky about that. So many cars right here, dude. Simeon, another 20k, please. I got your car. I have so many of these. I mean, how many more do you need? That's enough. Just stop. I don't want any more cars. Oh, no. No, he's not giving me any more. Well, you know what, guys? I still made a lot of money. How much did we make, Michael? $340,000? Oh, man. Simeon's being ripped off so badly. Well, that's still a successful day in my books. Another day, another $10,000. Well, that lawnmower business is going really well. <laughs> I now have $350,000. That's perfect. That's literally like music to my ears. My plan today is to infiltrate the rich. You know, get even more money from them. And in order to do that, we need to pretend we're rich. So, first things first, we're gonna buy a very expensive car. Oh, I could literally put it all on that car. Or I could keep 110k and buy the vaca. I'm gonna keep 110k. Let's get this one. Now, with the rest of the money, I'm gonna use it to tidy Michael up a little bit. We gotta look a bit richer and tidier than this, Michael. I I'm not kidding. You look a bit homeless. Well, we kind of are. <laughs> All right, let's tidy you up, buddy. Snippity snip, snippity snip, and uh, voila. Michael, you're looking like a new man. No beard for me today, ma'am. I'm sticking with this. Michael, you're looking fresh. On the exact same street is conveniently a clothes store, and this is quite a hip, trendy young person's clothes store. So we'll blend just right in, Michael. Oh, now we're walking with true style. I actually feel confident now. Now, where's that supercar? There it is. Et voila, Michael's brand new supercar. All right, jump inside, Michael. I'm gonna see if I can trade this for another supercar, preferably better. I really don't want to crash this car. Like, this is literally the most expensive item I have right now, and I don't want to crash this. Guys, chill, okay? Chill. <laughs> now, I would trade this car for anything which is worth more money than this. So, let's park this car right up here, and I'm gonna stand right next to it and hopefully bag a trade. Wait, I got my first customer! So, you want to trade your car with mine, the Infernus. Alright, let's see how much money that is. 440k? Dude, that's literally $200,000 profit. All right, my guy, you got yourself a deal. I have done my first trade and almost doubled my money. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is turning out to be really successful. All right, who wants to trade for my Inferno? One of the fastest cars on the street. Trust me, you're gonna love it. Bro, I'm not even kidding. Two trades in, this lady wants to trade me her million dollar adder. I don't understand why. She knows this is a bad trade. Oh, you wanna help with the video? Well, you know what? You're helping with the video. You're doing great. All right, you can get off my car now. You enjoy the Inferno. <laughs> I am driving a million dollar supercar. Michael, we're doing so well today. And hold on, my radio is telling me something. We got a code 97. Two prisoners escaped. Capture them both and be rewarded one million dollars. Did you guys hear that? I think I'm a bounty hunter. At least she was. And now I've been told about two escape prisoners. <laughs> If I can find both of them, then I will be paid a million dollars. That doesn't sound too bad. And now I've got like a really fast supercar. I have a feeling we've got a good chance of this. All right, let's see if we can catch them. So there's the prison. That's where they escaped from. And we're looking for two people. They might be together. They might be apart. Who knows? But I'm looking for clues. I was told they would be in this area. So uh, if they're wearing their orange jumpsuit, they shouldn't be too difficult to find. I reckon one of them is hiding in that scrapyard. I mean, let's be honest. If you had just escaped and you were in a desert, you would hide somewhere. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. Oh, I found one of them. Hey, buddy, give it up. You're going in, and I'm getting a fat paycheck. If you come with me, I'll give you $10,000. Well, Michael, okay, let's not be too mean to this guy, okay? Just get him in the car. I hope you learned a valuable lesson from this, and that is that you can never escape from the prison. Prisoner number one, arrested and taken in. And I just got $500,000! The prisoner was last spotted on the train. On the train, you say? Well, it's a good job I'm next to the train track. Wow, that's actually a really good escape plan. Now, where's the train? Oh, man, I really hope I haven't missed it already. Okay, I'm gonna wait along the train track until I eventually see the train. If the prisoner's on there, then that's gonna be great news. Oh, my days, there are so many carriages. You could be on any of them. All right, I'm just gonna jump aboard. Three, two, one. Oh, jeez. No, don't screw this up, Michael. We gotta get on this train. We need to get on this train. Oh, no, it's running out of carriages. All right, this is it. It's now or never I'm on. Now, where is he? I'm gonna search every single one of these carriages until I find him. What about the end one? Are you hiding on the end one, buddy? Nope. All right, he's not around here. He's got to be up there, guys. There are so many carriages to check out. This is such a flat train. I need to get him before the police do. I need this money. Come on. Is he on the train? Please, 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 please. I don't see anyone. I don't see any... Oh, no, guys. I found him. I found him. I found the guy. <laughs> It's up. Give it up, man. I'm getting you off this train. You're going away for a long time. Guys, take him away and give me my money. I now have more than a million dollars to my name, plus the supercar, which is worth another million dollars. Once I sell everything, we'll be able to buy the most expensive car in GTA 5, which I'm just about to do. I've put all of my money into one of the nicest cars you can get in GTA 5. It's solid gold, it's a supercar, and it looks insane. Alright, no cars are like this. This is literally one of a kind. It's the Wagner, and I'm gonna see if I can do some pretty interesting trades with this. Let's go to the airport, and hopefully we can get a plane just for this car. Well, I don't see any planes around here. At least no planes I would want to trade with, but there is this golden helicopter, and the pilot is standing right outside it. It better be worth more than my car. My car's worth, like, just over two million bucks. How much is that? Five million dollars? Okay, guys, I'm gonna do everything I can to make a trade for that helicopter. Hey, man, what do we think? Like, this helicopter, a couple of years old, I mean, how many more miles is in that thing? I mean, it's used secondhand. This car, brand new. Just got it. it. It's insane. Do you want to do a trade? Please, please, please. <gasps> no way. He actually did the trade. I now have a $5 million helicopter. I am more than halfway to the luxury super yacht. <laughs> This is awesome. All right, get inside. It's a golden helicopter. Check this out. The Buckingham Swift Deluxe. Whoa, hold on. I'm getting jobs. Uh, yeah, sure, man. I I'm coming to get you now. <laughs> I am a helicopter pilot for the top 1%. No, the 0.1%. I mean, who is going to afford helicopters like these? Okay, let's see how much this guy is going to pay me just for flying him to the other side of the map. He should be around the airport. Let's keep our eyes peeled. I thought you were in a rush. Why are you walking? Come on, run. <laughs> run in the helicopter, buddy. Wait, you want to get in the passenger? All right, fair enough. Okay, where do you want to go? All right, land it, land it, land it, and we've landed it. All right, have a good day now, mister. How much are you going to pay me? What? A million bucks just, just for that? <laughs> Look at his eyes. He's looking at me like, yeah, man, just a million bucks. All right, you get out of my helicopter. <laughs> You need a lift again? You let me know. We're on to a moneymaker, Michael. If we do a couple more jobs like this, we'll be able to afford that luxury super yacht. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time. I have made six million dollars. I am in a five million dollar golden helicopter. We have got more money than we need to buy the ten million dollar luxury super yacht. And now it's time to finally get it. <laughs>
I'm gonna give him everything I have just to get this yacht. Now, where is the owner? That's the question. This yacht is a maze. Is he through here? Hello? Oh my days, there he is. Yo, bro, I have everything you need. I will buy this yacht for more money than it's worth. Just please give me the yacht. I have tried everything to get this. Bro, you got a deal. I can throw the biggest parties on this yacht and no one's gonna care because I can sell this anywhere I want to and keep the noise away from the land. Wow, there's so many floors. Like, so many, dude. <laughs> there's spiral staircases. What? There's even a kitchen over there. How big is this place? Today, I'm selling everything we own. But not just Franklin's stuff. I'm selling Michael's stuff and Trevor's stuff too. From their houses, to their cars, to literally everything in their name. We're gonna sell it all and put the money together and see what we can buy. So, I'm starting with Franklin. This is his house. We sold it the other day. It was actually quite a bit of money. But we have a few other things in our name. Like Denise's house, his cars. And we're gonna find out exactly how much money it all comes to when we step inside this pool, which says sell everything. <laughs> right now, we got like zero bucks, by the way. We're starting from zero. But let's see, how much money do we make if we sell Franklin's house and like everything? Oh, wait a second. That's not actually that bad. <laughs> Whoa, just over $7.3 million. That's actually really good. Oh my days. So now we've literally sold everything. Can I Can I get back in my car? Oh, there's only one way to find out. Come on, Franklin, get in. Wait. Uh, oh, no, wait. Whoa. <laughs> we really have sold everything. I can't get in my car. And what about my house? There's only one way to find out. Let me... Oh, no, it's locked. What? I can't even go inside my house. That's crazy. No, wait a minute. What about Chop? Have I sold Chop as well? Oh, no, I really hope I haven't. <laughs> hey, Chop, are you down there? Oh, no way, dude. I sold Chop too. Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't think I would sell Chop. Franklin is not very happy with me. I'm sorry, buddy. I honestly didn't think this would happen. Well, Chop has gone off to a better life now. Um, <laughs> he's with someone else. But now I know how much money Franklin made. Let's go and sell Michael's stuff and see how much money he makes too. If you're wondering why I'm selling everything today, there's actually a secret website which lets you buy some ultra expensive houses from $10 million to $100 million. If we make $100 million selling everything, we're all gonna move in together and buy the best house in GTA 5. It comes with supercars too. Hey, we could really deal with owning some stuff. Hey, I'm just gonna steal this car. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. I'm homeless. I'm lost. I'm hungry. I want to go to my friends. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Have a good day. I thought Franklin would make more than $7 million for everything he owns. I mean, that's a really nice house he has and he has some good cars. Is that really gonna be the most we make when we sell everyone else's stuff? I guess we'll have to find out. Let's go to Michael and see how much money we get for selling all of his belongings. There it is. The sell everything bubble. We need to play as Michael for this. Franklin can't do this himself. Hey, Michael, are you in? Well, hey, here he is. Michael D. Santa. So, is he gonna make more money than Franklin? I think there's a good chance he will. Uh, his family have no idea I'm doing this. Enjoy your TV. This is the last time you get to watch. <laughs> right, so Michael has a beautiful pool. I think he's got a bit more land than Franklin. Oh, he's got a tennis court. Yeah, this is gonna sell for way more money than Franklin's place. How much more? It must have at least twice the amount of space as Franklin's house. It's private. It's two stories. Stories. It's probably got a cellar somewhere, and it's got plenty of windows. He doesn't have the best cars, but that doesn't really matter too much. Michael never really liked cars anyway. Oh, hey, Franklin. Good to see you again. So, let's see. How much money are we going to make selling Michael's stuff? <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Oh, my goodness. More than 10 million bucks? What? <laughs> So much money! $10,490,000. Michael, that is a world record, man. You smash Franklin! You could travel the world like a thousand times with that dude. Oh, wait a minute. Sorry, guys. Didn't mean to kick you out of the house. <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna do, but you'll have to figure it out. I'm gonna hang out with Franklin now. We got like $18 million between us. Ain't that right, my guy? <laughs> Let's go to Trevor's and see how much money we make selling his stuff. But right now, we can buy the least expensive luxury house in Los Angeles. So we're getting somewhere and it looks pretty good. You can't leave us, Michael! I can and then watch me do that. I'm going right now. See you later, guys. Have fun. <laughs> Let's go to Trevor and see how much money we make selling his stuff. Trevor's the wild card. He has so many things that it's kind of difficult to tell what he owns and what he doesn't. He just takes what he wants. So we can make anywhere from like $1 to $100 million with them. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Welcome to Trevor's house. It might look like a shack and that's because it is. But this is only the front of Trevor's entire empire. <laughs> Why is he playing guitar? Trevor, when did you take guitar lessons, my guy? Trevor, how would you like to sell everything you own and move? 
move in with us. We're putting our money together. We're gonna buy a luxury place. It's gonna be awesome. Oh, fantastic. He's in, guys. I'm playing as Trevor. Let's <laughs> he doesn't care about the guitar anymore. So, where do I sell this place? Like, where's the where's the orb thingy mo bob? Let's see. Oh man, it's not in the garage. Yo, I am not gonna make any money selling this container. Like, no way. <laughs> but there's only one way to find out. If I had to value this container, I would value it as, as just land only, which to be honest, out here in the desert is probably a couple of thousand bucks. Only this will determine how much money we make. Let's see. Da -da 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 -da. <gasps> Oh, subscribe? Oh, no. Guys, I need you to subscribe to my channel so we can sell everything Trevor owns. Won't let me do it unless you subscribe. Oh, man, it's got to catch me out on the last one. Just hang in there, Trevor. We'll sell everything eventually. How much money are we going to make? I need to know, guys. Come on, subscribe. Have you subscribed yet? Whoa! Wait a minute. I think you have. Is, is that real? What? That's in the 20s. $23,190,000. That is mind-blowing. Oh, my days. I just realized Trevor owns owns an entire airfield. And there's a submarine and a helicopter and a plane in there. And I can't exactly forget the house he stole from somebody, which is on the beach. And the club Trevor owns in the center of Los Santos. Yeah, that's a lot of properties. <laughs> I completely forgot about all of them. Hey, Ron, you can stop now. We don't own this place anymore. Trevor has officially sold everything, which means we have $41 million between all of us. I never thought Trevor would be the guy with the most money. <laughs> that is such a blood twist. So, what can we do with $41 million? We've got all this money between us. Trevor is, is the guy with the most, so he gets the most safe. Let's take a look. Whoa! Oh my days. There's a place for $10 million, $20 million, $40, 60 Yo, okay, there's some really nice houses. We can get the third best house, which isn't too bad. Looks pretty good after all. What even is that? Is it like a giant tree house? Yeah, you know what? Let's buy it. See what happens. <laughs> yeah. For $40 million, say hello to Franklin Trevor and Michael's luxury new pad. This is way better than anything else they owned. It comes with the helipads. Oh my days. A private swimming pool. And let's not forget the three natural redwood trees. I mean, they are insane. Check this out, dude. My own swimming pool. Wow. I could get used to this life. A $40 million house. What's not to like about that? Hang on a minute. Who's that? And why are they at my door? This is really strange. How on earth did they find my address? Do they even know we live here? Maybe we got a Neighbors, very friendly neighbors who want to give us some like snacks for moving in or something. <laughs> I'll take a hamper or whatever. Wait a second, Simeon, what are you doing here? And how did you find my address? This is really strange. Oh, you better have a good reason, Simeon. Are you stalking us again? Nice place, but don't you want somewhere better? Eh? Somewhere better? Well, I suppose there are three places better than this. What are you proposing, Simeon? What are we gonna do? If the three of you are up to it, I would like three cars. And how much does this pay? Enough money to buy you the best house money can buy. I'm interested, Simeon. If we do this job for him, we'll make $60 million. That's actually a lot of money. I can't exactly turn that down. Simeon, what have we got to do? I'll round up the others. There are three cars. Bring them to me at my store. The first this car is very tricky. Good luck. I will see you soon. You got three seconds to give me the car. You got two seconds to give me the money. We got the money. Now give me the car. Oh, yeah? I don't see a bag. Oh, hey. Look at this cycle route. Damn, man. What a lovely place for a picnic. Are you sure this is safe? I mean, have you seen up there on the rock? Yeah, great. There's witnesses now. What are you gonna do? Not my problem. These two are gonna back me up. I'm gonna go in myself and take that car out of their hands. This is gonna be difficult, though. One wrong move and it could go off the edge of the cliff. Let's see, what ride is that? Oh, yo, that's a nice car. And this, this is quite the showdown. Right, that's it, guys. I'm gonna use the minigun on this and we're gonna say bye-bye to all of these guys. Get them, Trevor! <laughs> now, whatever you do, don't shoot the car. No one's escaping. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Yes! Well done, guys. We got him! <laughs> that was super easy. Now, let's see. What kind of car is this? It looks unique and very expensive. No wonder why Simeon wants us to get it. There's no way he would have got that himself. Oh, sorry, guys. Coming through. Ah! <laughs> Save me. Sorry, dude. You chose the wrong team. You, you should have joined something else, like become an accountant. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's see. Okay, this is kind of nice. There's a parachute stuck in the tire, but other than that, it's beautiful. Oh, yeah. It's a Lamborghini Aventador J Speedster. Y you know it means it's fast. It's not the best off-road. What would you expect? It is a supercar, but I'm still going to drive it off-road anyway, because I don't care. <laughs> oh, watch out, buddy. Oh, that was a close one. You don't seem to care. All right, you just carry on walking. Whoopsie. Sorry. Ha ha ha! 
Watch where you're going, ma'am. So we've collected one out of three cars for Simeon. I'm gonna drive this back to his store and check out the next one he wants. If he's gonna pay us $60 million, there has to be cars better than this, Trevor. Yo, Simeon, check it out. I got the first car. <laughs> Lamborghini Aventador. This was the one you wanted, right? That nice hat, by the way. Where did you get the cowboy hat from? I want one. Wait a minute. Two can play that game, Simeon. Why, hello. The cowboy hat is back. Yo, Simeon, we're basically friends now. Good to meet you, my guy. <laughs> my hat is better than yours. Get me the next car. Whoa, okay. No need to be hurtful, Simeon. I thought I made quite a good cowboy. What do you guys think? Smash like. <laughs> well, Frank, what do we have here? I found the next car, and this one isn't exactly protected by no gang. Oh, no, 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 no. This car is inside the garage of the Eclipse Towers. You wouldn't believe it. It's just standing there all by itself. <laughs> Let's jump inside this machine, whatever it is. Okay, it's got a striped down the middle. Nice. Wait a second. I don't even know what color this is. Is it black? Is it diamond? Hey, let's just jump inside. I want to get this in the sunlight. Hey, Franklin, come on, get in. And where are your shoes, Franklin? <laughs> Right, let's get this out of here. Da, 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 da. Oh my days. Oh, are you seeing this? This is a beautiful car. <laughs> this car is a Tesseract, except it's diamond. It's luxury. Wow. Oh my days. Yo, look look at the windscreen. Yeah, th That is so unusual for a car to have a windscreen that big. It's tinted. It's electric. It's really quiet. I can't even hear this car drive. Yo, this is beautiful. Okay, this is my favorite car now. This is actually my favorite car. You know what? Before we return this to Simeon, let's go and get the next one. The final car Simeon wants is somewhere in this car park. Let's see if we can find it. I don't see many cars in this area. Oh, there it is. I found it already. Yeah, that wasn't too hard to find at all. If you don't get my good side, you're fired. Okay, Tim. Understood. Oh, yeah. That's the shot. Come on. Give me your good side. Da. Ah, lovely. Whoa, this guy seems really stressed and not very nice. Unlike his car, which is beautiful. This is the golden Lamborghini Simeon was talking about. Okay. Okay, well, uh, Franklin, this is yours, buddy. I will drive this. You get the Lamborghini in your bare feet, of course. <laughs> All right, Franklin, jump in. Da, 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 da. Nice. Oh, my days. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, I'm part of the set. I promise. I'm just getting the engine warmed up. Are you sure? Uh, this seems pretty dangerous. Yeah, I'm sure. You just keep taking those photos. Sorry, guys. Bye. <laughs> hey, Michael, come on. Catch up. I got a golden Lamborghini Veneno. Oh, my days. This is beautiful. It's total luxury on the inside, and I want to know how fast this goes on the road. Ah, uh, yeah. Michael and Franklin both on the road. Is this a one-way street? I think this might be. <laughs> this is a bad idea, dude. Alright, so we got the cars. We're bringing them back to Simeon. Hey, Michael, catch up, buddy. You're such a slow coach. What are you doing? <laughs> These cars are seriously fast. I'm already thinking about the $100 million mansion. It comes with its own yachts and supercars. I mean, how can you not want that mansion? What we gotta do is take these beautiful cars to Simeon. Yo, Simeon! And I got the golden Lamborghini. And the diamond Tesseract. Oh, it's, it's on the way. Michael, where is it? Oh, jeez. What's Michael done? He better not have crashed this car. Michael, we need the Tesseract. Where is it, dude? It might be a few minutes, but I promise he will be here. I can wait. You're not getting paid until I get it. Oh, jeez. Typical Simeon. Fine. Where's Michael? What? There he is. I told you he would come. Michael, come on. We need the money. <laughs> hey, Simeon, check it out. We got the car. Oh, my days. Wait, what did you do to the front of it, Michael? You weren't supposed to crash the car that much. It was an accident. Accidents don't just happen like that. Simeon, will you forgive us for the scratches and stuff? Hey, let me think. No. Oh, great. Thanks, Michael. Look what you did. You made Simeon angry. I didn't mean to. Yeah, well, you did. And don't even think about crashing into him. <laughs> so, Simeon, you still got to pay us. We got you the cars. And they're really nice. I'll pay you $30 million. Take it or leave it. Oh. 30 million? That's not exactly 60. <sighs> what do we think, guys? Do we take it? I think we grab him, bury him, and make him pay us more. Yeah, Trevor, you're on your own with that plan. If we do that, th he's, he might not even pay us at all. Only Simeon knows where his money is. Hey, Simeon, you got a deal, but I'm not impressed. You just ripped us off by 30 million dollars. But that still gives us 70 million bucks, which is actually a fair amount of money. Michael, I'm disappointed in you. All you had to do was drive the car without crashing it whatsoever. And Simeon would have paid us the 60 million bucks. I didn't mean to. Yeah, well, that doesn't matter, Michael. You still cost us a ton of money. How else are we gonna make? Oh, my 
days. Yo, someone else is at the door. How do they know our address already? We moved in here like today. Who's waving their arms? Lester? Hey, what do you want? And why are you acting like this? Quick, follow me. There isn't much time. Hey, uh, guys, we gotta go with Lester. He needs us to... Oh, great, where has he gone? Follow me. I'm coming, Lester, I'm coming. Oh, man, they better catch up. What is it that Lester wants us to do? In exactly one hour, there will be a train carrying gold. It will look like this, but with containers on the carriages. The job is simple. Bring me the gold, you get the money. That does sound pretty simple. And since there's three of us, we could probably carry a lot of gold each. So, how much does this pay? How much does ten tons of gold pay? Well, okay, Lester, that's some serious money right there. Well, looks like we got a mission ahead of us. Let's get ready and prepare for this train. In less than one hour, it's gonna come through the desert, and I am not missing this opportunity. This will push us to a hundred million dollars, which will let us buy the best house in GTA 5. And I can already see the driveway. It's right up there where the palm trees are. So this must be the starting point. Okay, Franklin, let's do this. Destroy the train brake cylinders. Oh my days, it's coming through now. There it is. It's red. What? Okay, I'm using my minigun for this. That's one cylinder. That's two. Oh my days, we're doing so well. Hey guys, get the other side. We need to stop the train. Yes, yes. Come on guys, you've almost got this. Right, you know what? You're sending in the big guns. You missed both cylinders. You guys suck. Wait for the train to stop. No way. We've done it, guys. Amazing. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. I think we got some company. Guys, watch out for the enemies. They're gonna start shooting. Oh, there's a lot of containers on this train. They really don't want us to steal this gold. Hey, let's get a word, guys. Come on. I'll start at the front. You go around the back. So, what have we got in here, huh? Let's open up this container. Whoa, Lester gave me a power saw. What? All right, let's open this up. Oh, easy peasy. Wait a second. They're shooting at me already? One second. I just gotta grab this cash. That's a lot of cash, dude. All right, let me just get this guy. Hey, give it up. Thank you. <laughs> let's get this money. Oh, my days. There is so much cash, and I'm getting millions of dollars for every Every stack I get. <gasps> Okay, this is serious business. I might just go for however much money I need. Why get greedy, guys? We just need to get, like, 30 million bucks. Let, let's play it safe and get to 60. You know, make sure Lester gets his share as well. And I've crossed the 30 million dollar line. I could leave right now, upgrade our house, and get the best one money can buy. <laughs> 43 million dollars. Is there anyone else around? I can hear them shooting down there. <laughs> Michael and Trevor are going crazy on the enemies. <laughs> Come on, get through. Nice. Is there anything in this one? Oh, no, this one's empty. Right, that's it. I'm gonna deal with these guys first. Hey, what do you think you're doing, huh? Get out of here. Go, go mess with Michael and Trevor. They're really fun to talk to. I'm sure you'll get along with them. <laughs> oh, watch out. There's a few stickies. And that should do the trick. Heads. I told you heads, buddy. Sorry, what can I say? Oh, this is fun. This is really, really fun. All right, open up the container. What are we gonna get in this one? Imagine if I find a ton of gold. Lester said there were 10 tons on here. So there's gotta be gold somewhere, right? What's inside here? Oh, beautiful. More cash. I really need these guys to leave me alone. If you keep this up, you might actually get me. And that was not the plan of this mission. All right, grab the cash, Franklin. Grab the cash. And this is really tricky. Michael and Trevor are doing a fantastic job out there, but there's so many enemies trying to get us. Let's just get what we need. All right, that's the deal, frankly. Get what we need. And I think we've already got enough. 64 million? That isn't bad at all. May as well get the stack next to it. I mean, come on, guys. This is basically free money. <laughs> I know this is just the greed talking, but there's one more container. I'm gonna open this up, and I promise, once this is open, I'm gonna take what's inside and go. Let's see. Is there anything? Oh, beautiful. I found some gold. Hey, bear with me, guys. Just gonna get this gold. <laughs> this is amazing. This gold is worth even more money than the cash. Can you believe it? That's Plenty. 130 million bucks? Hey guys, I'm leaving. I'll see you back at the house. Make sure they don't follow you. I don't want them to come back to us. Go on, Franklin. Run, run. They're still shooting me. Hey, leave me alone. Come on. I just want to take this money and go. Okay, he's down. There we go. Okay, I think that's everyone down. Run, Franklin, run. <laughs> Let's go! I have just made over 200 million dollars doing that heist. How insane is that? Michael and Trevor share came in. It's good to know Franklin got the most money out of all of that. <laughs> yeah. Now let's go back home and meet them. Da, home sweet home. Excellent work, team. Why, that's okay. You got the dream team over here, Lester. <laughs> yeah. 200 million dollars of pure cash and pure gold. Here's your cut. I'm proud of you. Nice. Well, we got plenty of money now, guys. Let's go and buy the most expensive house in the entire 
entire GTA universe. I mean, this place is nice, but we can definitely do better now. <laughs> Come on, guys, let's go. Would you look at this? The best house in the GTA universe for $100 million is now ours. It comes with a cinema, swimming pool, bowling alley, even a luxury yacht. There's even enough room for Michael to bring his family back if he wanted to. <laughs> there are 10 different bedrooms in this place. Yep, this is the biggest house money can buy. Five different floors. Wow. Oh my goodness. Right, guys, we have officially done it. I have the most expensive house in GTA 5. All we had to do was sell everything we own and do a couple of jobs, which we weren't technically meant to do. Yeah. Today's amazing, guys. This is the last hot day of the year and we are celebrating in style. Anyway, Chop, you be careful now. I gotta go inside and show you guys the surprise. There was a huge storm last night and it uncovered this in my back garden, guys. It's crazy. There's bones down there. I'm spending literally every day and night trying to dig this up. What do you think it is, guys? There's bones. Look at these. Wait, dude, was that my doorbell? Maybe someone spotted the skeleton and wants to help. Hmm, do I let them help? Guys, whatever happens, do not tell anyone. This is a secret between me and you. No one else. Anyway, who's at my door? Uh, oh, Simeon, you again. I need you to collect luxury golden police cars for me. That sounds like a very risky job. I don't really fancy getting wanted levels today. If the police come over and find what's in my garden, it's gonna be over the whole town. Simeon, you're gonna have to pay me very well if you want me to collect these cars. How does $100 million sound? $100 million? That's so much money! <laughs> Imagine what I could buy with that, dude. Oh, my days. Okay, looks like we're collecting luxury golden police cars today. And later on, I'll deal with that skeleton. We'll find out what it is together. So, the first police car is meant to be right outside the Vinewood police station. Can you believe it, guys? Golden luxury police car? I'll believe it when I see it. Let's see. Anything? Oh, my days. Simeon was right. Dude, the police force must have had an upgrade or something because now they're driving golden police cars? Are you serious? It's completely unlocked, dude. I can just jump inside. <laughs> this is a golden Bugatti Chiron. Do you see that tint, guys? This is solid gold. <gasps> I don't believe it. Hey, I'm getting out of here before the police catch on that I've just stolen their most expensive car. <laughs> it's so fast. Hey, I'm putting on the speed dial for this video, guys. I gotta do it. I just need to see how fast these cars are and which one's the best. Yo, this one is capping out. Look, it's capped out already. <laughs> this is too good. Hey, Simeon, I'm coming back in style. Oh, jeez, not like that. Are you good? <laughs> How's my car? Oh my days, dude. If I destroy this car, I am not getting paid. Hey, Simeon, where's the next car? Oh boy. Have you seen this, guys? La Puente Blanca. This is Martin Madrazo's ranch. Something has happened here. Why did you send me here, Simeon? Maybe I can try and go in as a reporter. You know, I'm a journalist. I gotta write something on this. You know, an article. <laughs> hey, what's Martin done this time? Sir, step away from the scene. Okay, okay. No need to be like that. I don't think they're gonna let me in, guys, but I need to get in there. I'm gonna do some walking, just some strolling, you know? They don't own this land. Come on, Franklin, slowly, slowly careful. I don't want anybody to spot me. If I stay below this hill and hide in this bush, there it is, guys, there it is. Oh, my days, there's so many officers around. So, that's the gang. Yep, they're being held up. I, it must be time over for them, and there's a few officers standing right outside, but there's the police car, dude, it's solid gold. Three, two, one, go, 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 go. Get into cover. Has anyone seen me. And now's your chance. Go on, get inside. Get inside. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm actually in. And no one's seen me yet. Oh, no. This didn't work. Oh, boy. Okay. Now they're all after me. They saw me take the car. Guys, I've got three stars. And I'm in a golden police car. This is great, actually. I think I'm in a very fast police car. No way are they going to catch up to me. Try if you can, guys. You won't get me. Whoa. <laughs> That was crazy! Okay, which way do we go now? If we hide under this tree, they won't be able to spot me. Yes, this is a great idea, Franklin. So whilst they're trying to find me, I still don't know what kind of car this is. Do you have any idea? It's got a camera and a laptop, so this must be used on the highways. Hold up. It says vapid. This is a vapid car? This is one of the supercars in GTA! Yes, I've lost the wanted level. It actually worked. Hey, Simeon, guess who's back? I think you're gonna like this one. I, 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 I just think you're gonna like it. Anyway, where are we going to next, Simeon? This is such a fun video. 
Yo, so behind this building is meant to be a car park and oh boy, I have a feeling we're gonna need to do some undercover work here. What is this? SWAT officers. Hmm. Okay, okay, I don't think we're allowed through there. <laughs> Looks like they're doing a secret mission. But where's their car? That's what I want to know. That's what we're looking for, Franklin. <sighs> we're looking out for a golden police car owned by the SWAT team. So maybe it's kind of big. Maybe it's armored. Hmm, let's look in this car park. This is where Simeon told me it would be. Uh, I don't see it, though. There's a garage door here. Keep clear. <gasps> it opens. Yes, I've got it. SWAT golden police car. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> let's Let's go. This is amazing. Los Angeles Police Department Rescue 2. Turn the sirens off. The SWAT officers are right over there. As long as they don't see me, I think we can get out of here in one piece. <laughs> careful, careful, careful. They're going to be so surprised when they find this car has literally just been stolen from them. Oh, yeah. Look at those sirens, guys. Hey, people are driving really badly. Hey, hey, come here. They're so scared of me, dude. He just stopped on the highway. Whoa. Hey, Mr. Taco Van. Why are you guys speeding? Stop speeding. Hey, Simeon, we might need another location. There's police activity all around this neighborhood, dude. And we're just chilling with golden police cars. Seems a little suspicious to me, you know? A little bit suspicious. I'll leave that job to Simeon. He's the one standing in my house. <laughs> if Simeon disappears along with all my cars, I think we'll know what's happened, guys. Whoa, they upgraded the police station. That explains the luxury golden police cars, then. Where did this money come from? Okay, so I gotta go inside and find the next police car. It's not out here, and it's not in that car park either. <sighs> here goes nothing. I'm going in, guys. I'm going in. <laughs> yeah, afternoon, officers. I got some very important business to do in here. Oh, boy. I can't believe it. I'm actually inside. This is quite nice. They extended the place. Okay, so that takes you into the station. Where does this take you to? I'm intrigued. Ooh, there's a staircase. Okay, let's take the staircase up. Okay, I've just got three stars. Um, Guys, can you see the amount of police officers on my radar? I'm deducting that that's not very good. Franklin... Oh, boy. Oh, oh, hey, Michael. Hey, <laughs> what are you doing here? Funny bumping into you in the police station. Why is Michael in here, dude? Oh, okay, I'll be getting out of the staff room. I'm on the roof, and I still don't see a car. Okay, I'm going in, guys. Oh, my days. <laughs> I'm going in. I'm finding this car. Come on, Franklin. Move it. Move it. Move it. Move it. Move it. Where's this police car, dude? This is literally the most difficult job ever. Oh, I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. Fantastic. I've got the car. Franklin, we're getting out of here. It's a Lamborghini. A Aventador. Solid gold. All right, let's get out of here, guys. I got four stars. I'm in a solid gold Lamborghini Aventador police car. It doesn't get better than this. I've got the perfect location, guys. I need to get to the sewers pronto. Like, right now. We're almost there, actually. On this bridge. Turn down here. There it is, guys. There it is. I can see the entrance. We're so close. Nice. Turn around and it's right underneath this bridge. Fantastic. Oh, oh what are you doing? Stop driving in front of me. <laughs> yes, I'm hidden, guys. Oh, my days. Can't believe that, dude. I searched the entire police station and I finally found the golden police Lamborghini. This is beautiful, by the way. Hey, Simeon, check out the car. It's a golden Lamborghini. I know, I know, I know. He's impressed with this as well. I've never seen him do this. He's taking photos. All right, Simeon, whilst you take photos of that, send me to the next location. Shh, shh, I found the car. And this isn't an ordinary police car. This is a monster truck police car, dude. Look at it. It's a solid gold monster truck. And there's two sheriffs over there. So what I'm gonna do is take them both out, guys. I have no choice. I don't want another wanted level. We're gonna be the most wanted by the end of the day. All right, let's see if we can line them both up. Three, two, one. One down. And the other guy, come on. Yes, yes. Oh, boy. I have just got three stars. Quick, Franklin, hide. Yes, they didn't find me. Oh, that was close. All right, guys, I'm going to get that monster truck. Someone must have heard me shooting or something. <laughs> I've got a police golden monster truck now. Yo, guys, this video is getting better and better. So this is the interior. We've got all of these amazing features, including nitro, guys. That means I can boost whenever I want to. Hey, do you reckon I should try it out? I've activated it. Now all I need to do is press horn to boost. Okay, should be simple enough. Three, two, one. Boost! Nitro! <laughs> Let's go! Yo, this is so nice. Hey, guys, can't you see there's a police monster truck coming through? You better get out the way or else I'm just gonna drive straight over you, buddy. Oh, my days, dude. I can see what a really flat car. Uh-oh. Boom! <laughs> Another guy. Oh, straight over. Yo, I could have fun with this all day, but I'm not going to. Well, this is quite the collection we're building and Simeon's getting photos of every one of these cars. Dude, this is such a nice collection. You're not gonna believe this. My 
Michael is going to jail, guys. You know, when we saw him in the police station earlier, I have a feeling he's done something. And now they're at his house, and I have to take a golden police car from there. Oh, there's quite a few officers there. I can see the car, though. Look at that, guys. Oh, my days. That kind of looks like the normal police car, but gold and a bit more stylish. I gotta get my hands on that, guys. There's a million things he could have done. Maybe we'll find out later on. I'm gonna make a guess that Michael uh, did something wrong. There we go. <laughs> I think there's a good guess. Yes, there's no police officers down here, guys. I'm gonna sneak into this car. Highway patrol. It's a Nissan GTR. Okay, turn the siren off. I don't want to alert them, and I'm driving away. Officers, it's been a very long day. I got called on something else now. Gotta go. Yes, it actually worked. Hey, this is fast. This is real fast, guys. Really good acceleration. Like, crazy good acceleration, dude. Capped out 260 already. <laughs> Look at the interior. There's so much going on. So many gadgets. Hey, coming in, coming in. This is Franklin Clinton. <laughs> I'm reporting a disturbance of Michael's house. Nino, Nino, Nino. Hey, Simeon, you're going to jail. I'm here to arrest you. <laughs> Joking. How can I arrest Simeon, dude? He's the guy paying me today. Whoa, look at all of these police cars, dude. There's so many different versions. Look, we've got like police supercars over here. Oh, I can see it, guys. That's solid gold. You see that giant truck in front of us? Hey, what's going on here anyway? Someone's running away. I need to find another way in. There's helicopters above here, dude. <sighs> Okay. Hmm, what if I can take somebody's outfit? There's an officer over there, guys. Perfect. I'll go and grab his outfit. Once I have a police costume, we're gonna be able to take these cars so much more easily. <sighs> so he's on a toilet break or a lunch break or something. Hey, buddy, care to share what's uh, happening around there? No? No, okay. Well, in that case, I'll just be taking your outfit. Thank you. Oh, boy, before he gets up. Come on, Franklin, get him. All right, I've got him, guys. I've just put him to sleep for a few minutes. <laughs> All right, grab his outfit now. You know how this goes. Sheriff wants it back, so that's what I gotta do. Sorry, guys. Sorry, officers. It's been a pleasure. I hope you catch the guy. Hey, guys, look at these tires. They're amazing. Look at them. They can literally go over anything. Ice, desert land, anything, guys. Through water as well. I don't even know what car this is, but you can fit literally the entire police station in here. <laughs> this is such a cool car. Yes. I found cars. Guys, I gotta go into them. Hey, coming through. Boom. Whoa. <laughs> this is amazing. I thought I would destroy that car, but clearly not. Let's try this again. I'm gonna go on that one. That's a really bad car. It's a tin can. Boom. <laughs> Seriously? I'm gonna try this on a smaller car. This one. This one's perfect. Oh, I just missed it. Okay, let's try this car. <laughs> Whoa. I just destroyed it, dude. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right, gotta go. Gotta get out of here. Wait, Simeon, you're gonna have to move. Simeon. <laughs> Simeon, I need to... <laughs> you need to move, Simeon. I will run you over. Why is he this stupid? Come on. Oh, man. One of my neighbors must have complained about... Hmm, an event or whatever. But look at this. There's police officers outside. This is really handy. My house is just up there. It's just up there, guys. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see. What have they got? Oh, Guys, I know exactly what this is. A Ford GT. And now it's police car gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's just grab it and go. <laughs> yeah. Ford GT 2017. This is one of the fastest cars on the market. And they've turned this into solid gold and made it into a police car. Lamborghinis, Bugattis, watch out. This is now around and... <sighs> I mean, you're gonna struggle getting away from this. Dude, it's a Ford GT 2017. It's literally known as one of the fastest cars in the world. And then they put all this police livery design on it. I mean, it makes total sense. You want people to still know it's a police car, not just a solid gold undercover police car. Hey, Simia, look what I've got. I was barely gone a second, buddy. A second. <laughs> all right, leave that there and let's go and get the next one. Police, obey and survive. All right, we're going in here, guys. Another police station. Hey, look at this. I don't recognize this one. This isn't in the game. It's so Solid gold, though, and it's classic. Hey, afternoon, everybody. This is a nice car, and since I'm in police costume, I think I have the authority to take it. All right, guys, showtime's over. I gotta take this out now, policia. This isn't even from America, dude. This is from somewhere else. So we've got this siren on the roof. Guys, it's so classic. This is amazing. <laughs> I love it, dude. Whoa, whoa, jeez. Okay, I almost flipped the car. Turning is not great. <laughs> I'm so gonna flip this over, dude. I'm kind of tempted to, actually. All I gotta do is take a corner really sharply and we can roll the car over. That's really bad. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. And turn! Whoa! <laughs> I knew I could do it. Simeon, what are you doing with boxing gloves and a cone on your head? He is a man of mystery. <laughs> hey, Simeon. What? I don't want to go near him. I'm actually kind of scared. He's going for it. He's going. To... Jeez. Um, Simeon. 
<laughs> Can you just tell me where the next car is, please? Why? Just why? I don't even want to go near him, guys. Watch for stopped vehicles. They got a checkpoint. I haven't seen something like this for ages, guys. They're stopping traffic. Okay, now we got to look for a golden police car. Don't worry, sir. He's probably just got me giant in his binoculars. Dude, these cars are so nice. Wait, why are they shooting? Okay, I think something's happened, guys. There's a bit of commotion. Quick, Franklin, use the distraction in your favor. Have you seen what's happened? The car is flattened underneath the truck. Okay, whilst I've got this distraction on my side, let's see. This is the golden one. It's tinted gold. Look at that shine coming from it, guys. And another guy just got hit by a car. Okay, well, I'll be getting out of here. <laughs> this is crazy. All right, let's grab it, Franklin. Come on. Ooh, I'm in the car. Fantastic. All right, go, 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 go. Uh-oh, I've got two stars. How did I get two stars? Guys, I'm in a police costume. I'm not meant to get two stars. Maybe the costume isn't working. Whilst they try and find me, I don't think they will when I'm down here. Yes, they've lost me. Let's take a look at this. It says sheriff on the back, so this belongs in Sandy Shores. Protect and serve Seacrest County. This is a Dodge Viper. This is an actual Dodge Viper. We've got a spoiler. It's got the blue paint as well. You don't often see that on police cars. And it's super duper fast. Anyway, I'm parking this up. Bam. Beautiful. All right, Franklin. Ditch the costume. We've been sussed out. Well, well, well. Would you look at this? There's a French police station here. I didn't realize they built one of these. Wow. This is new. This is nice. <laughs> All right. So we're looking for a golden car. Maybe this is the reason why there's golden police cars everywhere. Maybe they did like an investment or something. Dude, it seems kind of empty. I don't see any police officers here. Like what's going on? Ba -da, ba -ba. Oh, no, the garage is locked. How about down here then? Max height, 12 foot. Hmm. What about in the understory car park? Come on, come on. Yes, I've got it, guys. <laughs> there it is. My beauty. Dude, look at this. This is a golden, full-on police car. Seacrest County. It's a Zonda. It's the Pegasi Zonda. And the door is open. It was left ajar. It's like they wanted me to take it. The Pagani Zonda. Completely sunroof on top. I'm taking it away, guys, just in case someone spots me. Let's just get it away from the station, through the barricade, and onto the road. All I need to do is get it back in one piece, which is proving a little bit difficult to do. <laughs> hey, sorry about the bin. Looks like you'll have to clean that up. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. I'm building up speed. Hey, Simeon. Whoa! <laughs> you didn't tell me you roadblocked the place. I'm so lucky. This is good brakes. <laughs> I'm telling you now, guys. Any other car and I would have been crushed. Well, well, well. Look at this, guys. So we got another sheriff police car. Solid gold. It's a 4x4. Four four, kind of like a monster truck. And they're searching this area. I don't understand why. But it doesn't matter, guys. I'm just going to get this and get out of here. Oh, boy. I've got four stars. I, I was not anticipating this. Guys, not this close to the end of the day. If they catch on to what I've done, this could be all for nothing. Uh-oh, I remember them. I got the solid gold one. <laughs> oh, no. Please do not ram into me. Dude, they will destroy this car. So I'm in a police transporter, which means we probably transport stuff in this. We've got a normal dashboard, normal display. It doesn't really go very fast, but I think I know a way out of here, guys. We drive up this road. This will take me down a very mysterious... I don't actually know where this takes me. I hardly take this road. Where does this go to? Wait, I know where this goes to. There's a tunnel just up there. All right, hide in this tunnel and everything will be okay. Please leave me alone. Leave me alone. I just want to take this back to Simeon. It's a beauty. Hey, Simeon, you're going to have to start thanking me in a moment because I almost went to jail then. All right, jail. What are you doing to my front yard? What is what are you doing? Simeon, what are you explain yourself? I'm confused. I'm lost. Why are you digging up my yard? I haven't used that tool in months. He's not telling me. He literally isn't gonna... Okay, Simeon, just tell me where the next car is so I can kick you off my land. Whoa, look at this. Somebody tried to rob the bank. Looks like you're out of luck. <laughs> yeah. But I am in luck because since you've distracted the police officers, I will be taking another golden Lamborghini. This is the police Lamborghini Centurio LP7704 Solid Gold. It's got an animated spoiler. Look at the sirens as well. Dude, this is an amazing car. This might be better than the event door. I'm, I'm just putting it out there. It might be better than the event door. Dude, the police are going to be so annoyed when they find out all of their golden cars have been stolen by me and Simeon. <laughs> this is an amazing day, dude. Oh, man. Why couldn't he have told me about this any sooner? Hey, Simeon! Guess you got another Lamborghini. What? Dude, you're making such a mess of my drive. Such a mess of my drive. I'm leaving this here and please, do not dig up my drive anymore. You're going to discover the skeleton, dude. It was massive. He might actually find it around here. I'm I'm getting a little bit nervous, actually. If he finds that, there is no chance I'm selling that skeleton myself. He's gonna want to cut. Grab the final car, and Simeon will be gone. Record.
Accord Database Center. Hmm, National Office of Security Enforcement. Oh, Santos government. The government's in here, dude. I think I can see the car and there's no one. Dude, I don't see a guard. There's nobody guarding this place. I think if we make a dash now, we're gonna be okay. Come on, dash, dash, dash. Yes, yes, I'm in. And this, is it gold? Yeah, that's gold. It's got a golden tint. What kind of car is it, guys? Let's take a look. It's the Mercedes-Benz. Dude, this is the, I saw this earlier. It's the Mercedes-Benz gold. I finally got it, guys. I found it. Mercedes-Benz, unmarked cruiser, apparently, but it seems pretty marked. Let's get this out of here before they realize what I've done. I literally walked into the government building and took their most expensive car. It's got an animated spoiler. I love it when vehicles have that. It comes out of the car. It moves. It flaps. Oh, boy. A government official. Let's just keep on driving. Thank you, God. Thank you for letting me out of there. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, yes. He hasn't discovered anything. Oh. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, I'm so glad he hasn't found that skeleton. Anyway, I've got every single golden police car, Simeon. What do you think? So before I dig up what's in my back garden and get rid of Simeon, we need to choose our favorite luxury golden police car. Which one out of all of the cars we collected today is your favorite? Is it one of the armored ones at the back? Is it the one I'm standing on? Is it the Pagani Zonda? Is it the classic Beetle? Or the original solid gold police car? Or is it the Ford GT? The solid gold unmarked car? The Lamb Bikinis, the Dodge Viper, the Bugattis. Dude, there's so many to choose from. Are you ready for the moment of truth? Me and Shop have dug this up and it's a whale skeleton, dude. Look at the hand. That's massive. And look at the skull. Hey, this is going straight into a museum, guys. I've got a hundred million dollars now. I don't need to sell this. I'm giving it to a museum. The only problem is it does go right underneath my house. And in order to get this out, we're going to need to demolish this house, Franklin. <laughs> yeah, let's think about that for a second. Huh? Anyway, guys, that's all we've got time for today. Smash like if you you enjoyed. And remember to subscribe to the channel. Come on, join in. You're missing out on videos like this every single day. But thanks for watching. My name is Nord. And until next time, stay awesome.